Why, hello. How's it going? What are you guys up to? Aw, oh, Grandpa. Are you full of food? Are you super licky? Little old man. You sure? You sure? I got orange all over you. Oily. Oily old man. Oh. Grandpa's all oily. He's an oily old man. Why? Why is he an oily old man? I demand cr orange grandpa. He's a little bit orange. He's like orange on his neck, you know? Small amount. All the ferrets are getting oily. Uh, I don't know why. This is the time of year for the oil. Oh, I should probably announce this other thing today. There we go. I updated the announcement. Is the stream ending? No. The stream is beginning. Although, the stream is not going to last very long today. Because we're raiding Onigiri. Because I'm going to teach Onigiri how to make bread today. Well, at least my bread. We're going to cook. We're going to cook. So it'll actually continue on a different channel, technically. You appreciate my videos? They're very inspirational. Well, thank you very much. It's very nice of you. Jesse, we have to cook. It's exactly what it is. We will be cooking. Also, I just woke up. Also, I'm a slug human. Buh. What time will that happen? Four hours from now. Well, three hours and 41 minutes. There we go. Good flavor water. Is this the Power World stream? No. No, Wednesdays. Wednesdays are game days, dude. Wednesdays are game days. Although, let me think about this. When is my flight? My flight's on Friday. All right. No, we should be good. We should be good. Yeah, we should have a stream tomorrow. Alright, we'll start the queue up in just a minute. See, block game server is instantly full again. Fantastic. Let me check the database. Well, that's not good. Uh... 
I may have to do some manual data purging. Gross. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. I don't like doing manual pruning of a database, but... You know. I might have to. I think we're good. I think we're good. We may be able to start. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Look, I exist. I'm real now. Yeah, little Bobby Tables, dude. We've got like a database thing going on. I gotta look at this. Let me think about this. I'm like barely awake. Oh. All right. The database for this has never been purged. And part of it is ancient. Like ancient, ancient. What's with the hair? I don't know. It's big today. It's doing its thing, dude. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Morning hair. It's large and in charge. That's what it is. I'm barely awake. My hair is doing what it does, dude. My hair is doing an ollie. That's what it is. It's doing a kickflip. It's fine. I watched Ludwig try to do a kickflip for like eight hours. And it made me feel old. Because I realized I couldn't do that either. Yeah, now my hair is doing it. It's just one of those days, man. Yeah. Yep, that's, that's what that is. Is Chug NyQuil? <laughs> no. <laughs> when is NyQuil green, dude? I guess you can't see it, can you? It's like voided. I guess it does look purple on the screen. That's funny as shit. No, it's like, it's electrolyte stuff, dude. It's got what plants crave. It's green. It's cucumber lime flavor. Shit, dude, that's really funny. Because <laughs> it's like voided out from the green screen. That's funny as hell. Yeah, definitely just chugging NyQuil. Like... <laughs> Yeah, it's cucumber lime flavor, dude. Goblin void fuel, you know? Yeah. Oil for the machinery. It's just pure oil. Don't worry about it. Should we wear a green shirt? I actually don't own a green shirt. <laughs> as funny as that is. My hair's just gonna be big today, I think. Well, that's it. I think that's all it's gonna be. Look at it. It's just... Oh. It's so much hair today. It's so much hair. I don't know what to do with it. So I'm just letting it be its thing. There. It's gonna be a crown today. There we go. Extra lush. Super lush, dude. This is what happens when I leave it alone for a day, and it's like, I'm gonna get enormous. And now it's just... It's just freaking everywhere, dude. Yeah. Thor the thick-haired maiden? Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh my god. How many rows does this have? Hey, you guys know it's good when your database has 3,104,000... Oh wait, no, sorry. 31,044,071 database rows, right? That's good? Is that good? In your Minecraft server? That's good, right? That's like a good thing, I think. What are the columns in this thing? Oh, it's a ro Oh, God. Uh, okay, so I need to go open this up, because this is a mess. New configuration. Oh, God.
This was supposed to purge every day, but it didn't. It is never purged. What is the status of this? Oh god. Is it Okay, so it's still it's purging. It is actually consuming and purging. Okay, so that's good. That's at least a thing. It's probably going to shit. But that's that's fine, I guess, you know? This is probably fine. The database is only 90 gigs in size. That's fine. What's in here? What's causing this? Oh, it's probably the CO item table that has 27.4 gigs of data. That seems right. You know? That seems fine. There's probably nothing wrong there, you know? Digital space isn't real? I don't think that's true. I think that's false. It could also be the block data that's 46.5 gigs in size and has just a 94 million rows? I think I might need to purge this. I think it might be time to purge this. Just purge it. Just get rid of it. Just kill it. You know? I think we should just kill it. You guys think we should just kill it? I feel like we should kill it. I think it's wipe day for that. I think we're wiping all of this. Yeah. CO purge. Time. One day. You can only purge data older than 30 days. 30 days. Purge is in progress. Hey, it's purging. The purge has begun. All right, well, it's slowly building up items in the queue now. So that's probably fine. We'll check back on it later. Because purging should be deleting from the database. Right? 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 You know? Let's find out. Or protect. Purge command. What does purge do? Use to bring up space on an HDD if you don't need the older data. If used in game, only data older than 30 days can be purged. If used from the console, only data older than 24 hours can be purged. Optimize your tables and reclaim disk space. Ah! Okay, so... We didn't optimize the tables to reclaim disk space. Because that wasn't an in-game command. Let's see what happens when I do this. Okay, it's doing it now. We'll wait for it. To figure its shit out. Because the database is large and in charge right now. Which is not... Like, good. It's not a good thing. The database is enormous. It is enormous. And it's all core protect. I feel like it should be doing this automatically. This is stupid. Yeah, yeah, I feel like it should be doing this automatically. This is kind of dumb, frankly. Just delete the DB file? No, you don't understand. It's in SQL, dude. It's accessing it over the good old PHP my admin, dude. So, like, what the shit is going on here? This database is horrific, my dude. The database is horrific. It is a cursed... pile of shit. And I feel like deleting it. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. Here's how this is gonna go. I'm gonna turn the server off. I'm gonna delete the database. I'm gonna restart the server to reinitialize all these databases, because this shit is awful looking. It is... It is 90 gigs of dog shit. It's, it's like, this is not good. This is not good. Hey. I'm gonna... Go delete... 90... 
gigs database. So the server is going to be offline for a minute. Whitelist on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, kick all. There we go. Okay. So, server's coming down for a moment. We're going to delete 90 gigs of shit. Down, down, down. Yeah, we're just going to delete it all. Yeah, no, Jake didn't write Corporate Tech. That's not his fault. Corporate Tech's kind of janky. If you, if you don't know what Corporate Tech does, the whole idea behind Corporate Tech is that it makes it so that if there's something wrong, we can roll back because it takes a snapshot of everything. Here's the problem. I thought it had a 30-day timeout for all of its shit. Yeah, it didn't. So it's just been storing things for two years. We could technically roll the whole server back to two years, but I'm about to delete it because it's stupid. It's, we don't need that. We don't need that. That's dumb as shit. That's really, really dumb. It's really dumb. You're not. No, I'm not making a backup. I'm not. We're not making a 90 gig backup of this shit. That's stupid. That's really stupid. It's too many. So I need to go delete all of these now. Yes. Drop that table. And now drop this table. Oh god, oh god, when I click drop the table, it says processing request. You know it's bad. You know it's bad. I'm not making two backups. You know it's bad when it's hanging on dropping the table. One moment. I need to clean my glasses off. They're all grimy. the grime, dude. Dude, I don't want any backups. We're doing this backup list. This is stupid. And I'm back. I'm back. We still have no backups. Error in processing request. Error code 504. Gateway timeout. Shit. Please tell me you deleted the database table. Oh no! Okay, so... The database is too big to fail. Shit. Well, that's not good. I'm gonna go... Oh god. Oh god, database too big to fail. Oh god. Oh god. Not good. Not good. Not good. I know you guys are saying truncate, but I don't have an option right now. The database is already down. It's already down. I guess technically there's no database if the database is down. Mission accomplished. That's it. We did it. Perfection. Just restore the back. No, no backup. There's nothing now. Did you lose the database? I don't know. Maybe. <sighs> Fantastic. It's not NyQuil, you goblin. It's a corporal reason if I've ever heard. That's ah, a good reason. Come on. What am I drinking? Electrolyte beverage. Premium hydration. Cucumber lime. <laughs> Oh, 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 no, 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 no. My database. That's where all my data is. I need it. It's in the base, dude. Shit. That's probably fine. That's probably fine. It's probably fine. That's probably fine. All right, let's, let's set this up. Where's where's me audio? Where's me speaker bot? Okay, speaker bot, you're not dead. That's good. Alright, let's begin. 
Shibas has obtained the cursed quest. Oh, Shibas. Are you ready? Is it Shibas or Shibbers? Shibbers? Shivers? Shibbers. It's a weird name. Ugh. You did it. Do you want art? Do you want cooking? Actually, no. No. Today you don't get a choice. Because today we have a special cooking stream. That's right. No choice for you today. Only cooking. Only cooking. That's right. That's right, because today we're doing a cooking stream. That's going to happen in about four and a half hours, somewhere in there. Yeah, it's today. You should look at the announcement. That's today. We're going to cook with Onigiri in about four hours. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Actually, technically, I think it's three and a half hours, isn't it? Yeah, it's three and a half hours. Mmm. Mmm, cooking stream. Yeah. Wow, this is this database is straight up dead. It's It's straight up dead. I think we actually killed the database. That table was too big. I'm gonna have to contact the host and be like, Hey man, uh, can you bring my database back online, please? You do that for me. Can you bring it back up my database? Hey. Hey. Okay, I'm submitting a ticket and being like, Hey, I, uh, accidentally the entire database. <laughs> Can please turn on. Oh, is there a ticket in already for this? Let me look. No. Okay, I gotta put in a ticket. Hey, man. I blew it up. Thought you should know. Open ticket. Open ticket. Where's my ticket? I need... It's a technical problem. You know, they only have a general support system thing. Data base down. Database is 504 erroring. Please help. <laughs> Submit. Oh. Ticket created. I uh, I accidentally the whole database. I didn't. I accidentally that, that table that was too big. Yeah, technically a problem, you know? Technically the whole database. Very sad. Very sad. Why was the table too big? Because the table had been populated for the last two years. You know, the full two years of database. Because that makes sense. Wait, was it the corporate tech log DB? Yeah, it was. We're just killing it. Doesn't matter. Yeah, classic. I know, right, Beepstring? I forgot to purge it, man. I'm not mad, I'm only angry. Whatever. You got work to do, too. I'll handle this bullshit. You handle the bullshit I gave you. There's some bullshit that, that uh, Jake's working on. So that's fine. Because today we're going to fix wheat maxing. Is that NyQuil? No. Nobody's going to chug NyQuil, you goblins. It's free. It's electrolyte solution. It's got what plants crave, dude. I'm actually a plant in real life. That's true. A dark desert database, really? That's where we're going. All right, Shivers, are you there? User. Shivers. Are you there? That's fair? Okay, so you said that's fair. You gotta at me when you talk, by the way. Shivers, I need to know something. Have you ever made lasagna? Is that Steets in the chat? Why, hello. Mr. Pirate Software Man, hello. Hello. Steets arrives. You have not made lasagna. Shivers. 
Do you like lasagna? Do you like lasagna, Shivers? Lasagna isn't cursed? Oh, we can make it cursed. My sleep schedule is royally effed. That's why I'm here. Hello, Steets. Welcome to the land of the living, maybe? A little bit? Small amount? Shivers. Are you a Garfield? Yes, it's all right, but not something I eat often. Mm. What's your favorite food, then? Let's know. I gotta know what your favorite food is, then. I'm not seeing it. I'm seeing a strong maybe from that, but nothing more. Strong maybe. Why not elf pasta? I mean, you could make pasta out of elves, but... You're all whiny the whole time, right? Elves. I do like pasta. Let me think. Let me think. You ever made penne cardinale? You ever do that? Good old, good old penne cardinale. You ever do that before? I love penne cardinale. That's good shit. Penne cardinale. In fact, I'm gonna give you a recipe for this. It's freaking delicious. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Penne cardinale, dude. Pot Lasagna is just pasta cake? You are correct. And I'm fine with that. To be honest with you. I'm, yeah, can you... V. Can you stop talking already? No, I can't. But you know what I can do? I can start banning already. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, easy. Easy. We'll find out how you feel about that in the unban request. Or not. Or not. Advanced Italian pasta. Oh, dude, I love Penny Cardinale. It's good shit. He's gotten mad with power. It's true. That was his first message, dude. His first message was effectively, Shut up, streamer. Ugh. So yeah, of course you're banned for that. Of course. It's like a pretty normal thing to get banned for that. You know? First time chatter, first time banned. That's how it works. You more common than you think, actually. West Coaster spotted? Yes. Alright, Jibbers. Let's see what you got. User. Jibbers. I'm gonna read your message now. Never my cooking skills are a solid four out of ten. Well, it's time to upgrade them. You're gonna make penne cardinale, my dude. I've got a recipe for you right here. This is your recipe, so you can make this. I believe in you. However, as is tradition, you have to make it horrifying. That's right. That's right. It's, it's going to be horrifying. It's going to be horrifying. You need to arrange all of the ingredients when cooking this. Before you cook it, you have to arrange the ingredients. And the way that you have to arrange these ingredients is going to be into the shape of my face. Right there. That's the one. Just like that. It's going to be like that. You're going to make my face out of noodles and chicken. Maybe a little bit of bacon if you want to put it in there. You know, just a little bit. You're going to make that out of food. And then you're going to cook it. Then you're going to rearrange it into a shitty approximation of my face. And then you're going to eat it. Yeah. It's going to be penne thoronale. That's right. That's right. Can you do this, Shivers? Can you eat my face made out of noodles? Oh lord, this is cursed, accepted. Fantastic. The contract is sealed. The contract is sealed, chat. Wonderful. 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 All right. Off to the races. Got to start hitting this queue. An because we're going to have a bit said for your consideration. Your name hmm. is Thorman. You are an American. Baron is a dog that turns into a demonic creature. Therefore, logically speaking, there should be a scene in Heartbound where Law's house gets nuked. When is this being added? You know, it's not even wrong. It's actually correct. I'm fine with this. This is happening. This is canon now. What if it's just post-apocalyptic? What if Heartbound's been post-apocalyptic the entire time? You know, I'm, I'm gonna run with that. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Maybe it happened in the split second after the bomb fell. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, American Mo.
Ultra Survivor with 500 bits That's said true. in coding, how frequently do you use calculus? Very rarely. I, 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 to be honest with you, I haven't... I don't think I've ever used calculus ever in my entire time programming. Ever. And that includes, like, doing all the stuff that I do for reverse engineering, assembly, everything. Like, there's, I don't think there's ever a time where I've ever used it. <laughs> ever. In the history of me programming. Yeah, I don't think ever. I don't think ever at all. Killer Squid 2603 with 500 this. bits said, Whenever I see you've come online, it's always in a hype train. You have a wonderful community, and I'm glad to be a part of it. Well, the community is wonderful because of people like you, so thank you. Thank you very much. High Class with $4.99 said, Hello there. Hope all is well. May your day be as good as you make it for the rest of us. Thanks, Ye Thor. It's a feedback loop. You make my day good, and then somehow I make your day good. And, it, and there's no entropy, it just keeps increasing in power. So, terrifying, actually. Eventually, eventually it will explode. It will happen. Alright, let's look at this. I need to look at something. There's something in here. Where is it? Not that. Uh, where's the cursed tickets? We have a cursed quest to vote on. We have a Chris Quest to vote on, and I hate it. One sec. One sec. I'm going to hide this for a moment. Okay, it doesn't need to be hidden. We're good. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Okay, hold up. Hold up. This is going into the into the thing. You guys still got your golden capas? Hell yeah. It's from yesterday, man. You guys ready for this? You ready for the nightmare that you're about to see? Alright, hold up. I have to start this music. Because it's horrifying. This is a horrifying thing that I'm about to show you. I have started the... I have started the poll. Look at it. This was made by... Is he... What is that in there? Is that a goblin? I think that's a goblin. And they're transporting... An MS Paintboard. <laughs> it's Thormus the Tank Engine. Yes. It is Thormus the tank engine. And it is real. Even I, like, I am the sun as well. That's true. Yes. You have to vote on it. Is it cursed enough? Only on Twitch side we're doing the vote, because this is for the VIPs on Twitch. Dear God. Deeply horrifying. Didn't know Thor was in Teletubbies? I didn't know I was a train. But, you know, here we are. I am most definitely, like, very clearly caught in 4K as a train. I've been, I, I don't know how long I've been a train. Is that a ferret? There's ferrets back here. Look, there's ferrets on this. Hold up. Enhance. No, not that way. Enhance this way. Yes. There's ferrets on it, dude. They put ferrets all over it. And if we go into here, there's a goblin. And there's a, there's a blackboard. It's an MS Paint blackboard. There it is. And if we go up here... You know, if you stare directly at the sun, you get superpowers, right? Isn't that... That's true, right? Is that true? I feel like that's true. At least this sun. Not the real one. This one. Yeah. Okay. Alright, good. Cardboard Cowboy, you know, that's true. I feel like Cardboard Cowboy has stared at the sun enough. He does all the time. Alright. You voted. 78% say cursed enough. As such, I need to go pull up the, the list. The list. Roles manager. Here it is. Don't tell me about not being able to add more VIPs. We go to the end of the list. Where is it? We find Dude Zord. Two years ago. I salute you. No longer a VIP. No longer cursed. Now, your rally is a VIP. Congratulations. Congratulations. You've done it. You've done it. All right. I'm going to switch over to this one. 
There we go. <laughs> VIP now, dude. VIP success. 78% positive. Horrify. <laughs> Closing out that ticket. Give me just a moment. One moment. There we go. All right, we're good. I think we're good. I didn't think we're no longer ants. We're now furry animals. Oh, dude. Silly princess, DJC. It's been a long time since you've been here, isn't it? I haven't used the ants in like... Like a year. <laughs> it's been a long time, man. It's It's been a long time. It has been a long time. Oh, wait. The voiceover system crashed. Why does this keep crashing? Man. Let's take a look at this. Hi, Thor. Are you a full-time streamer or do you have a job? I'm full-time, yeah. So that's the message from Blanket. Yeah, I've been full-time streaming now for... Five years? Four years? Somewhere there? And uh, I've been a partner... I've been streaming for seven years. And I've been a partner for like six years. So... Yeah. Asmund's in a call with someone discussing Blizz account bans? Did he get banned? Wait, wait, did Asmongold get banned from World of Warcraft? Okay. Let's see. I haven't started making an app, but a short game first, and I realize I have no idea how to navigate GitHub or Gato. Oh, so something that can help you quite a lot, actually, go and get the GitHub desktop app. It's super, super easy. You can actually just get something like this, and it will show you all the changes that you've made, and you can just hit commit. And that's it. It's like easy as shit, and you're done. That's it. It's easy. Super easy, actually. So like, buh? Buh? Wait, wait. I have to see this. Tethys, you have written five messages ever since you joined the community in October of last year. Hello, do you write any unit tests? IntelliJ, bro, haircut? Man in the middle attack, bro, haircut. Over four months. Over four months. That's all you've provided. Why? Why? That's all you have? Just bro haircut? I expect better from you. I expect better from you. Disappointing. Disappointing. And I'm never cutting my hair. Screw that shit. <laughs> the only time I would cut my hair, dude, is if I was going bald, I'd just shave it all off, wax it, and then blind you over the internet. Like, that's how that would go. Nothing else. Nothing else. Kirby yeah, underscore Jerusalem good, though. with 500 bits really said good. good morning, Thor. Good morning. Two unrelated questions. This weekend I ran nine hours of Vampire over two days, and I'm exhausted. What's the biggest TTRPG binge you've ever been in? Second, I know Game Maker is ideal for 2D games, but does that apply to isometric? It's hard to find solid information about whether it's suited for the engine or if someone should instead use Godot or similar. Thanks. 
So isometric can be done in a number of different ways. If you're doing the is isometric environment with 3D models, I probably wouldn't use GameMaker. That being said, you're not it's not stopping you from doing it in the sprite way, and that would be totally fine. I don't think there'd be anything wrong with that whatsoever, frankly. Like, that's it. The only time I cut my hair was for the government. Never again. Never again, dude. I'm gonna go gray and have wizard hair, and that's it. Yeah. You look good, bald. I don't know, I got like a lumpy head. I feel like it'd be weird. Yeah, you could definitely do isometric that way with like sprites. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But if you're doing 3D models, I likely would not do Game Maker for that. I would likely use something like Godot for that specifically. It's just a better engine, I think, for that. That being said, there's so many different engines out there, and it doesn't mean you should use those two and exclusively those two. Like, go explore op your options, man. Look at this. Look how many different engines you have access to. It's a shitload. And this is just one page out of six. I'm gonna go link this in chat a bunch of times. Can't wait to see Wizard Thor? Dude, same. I can't wait to look into the mirror and have, like, a gray-haired wizard looking back at me. It's gonna be great. Alucard with $5 said, Why hello and good luck at the streamer awards. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's going to be in three days. I'm terrified. <laughs> I think I see the end of the sentence. Uh, I haven't gotten on a plane in years. So, like, I don't know how that shit's going to go. I haven't been on a plane in ages, man. Yeah, shit, piss, and cry on the plane. Well, that would be par for the course. I feel like most travelers do that, frankly. Yeah, where's it being hosted? In LA. So I'm only going to be on the plane for like three hours. Like, it's not really a long time. Game time with Eric. What is up? Thank you for the rating party of 140, bud. How's it going? What were you streaming? Tell me about it. They rarely blow up. You know, that's somehow comforting. Rarely. That's good. That's good. And yeah, oh, the longest TTRPG. Sorry, it was when you split a question into two questions, I usually miss it. But yeah, the longest TTRPG game that I've ever played is, well, Dungeons and Dragons, frankly. I had um, a number of campaigns that lasted five plus years. So, had a fun blast with that. I was playing hardcore Minecraft, hit 9,000 days today. Nice. That's sick. I'm in the background, I'm actually working on my, my block game server, which is a modified version of Minecraft that's an MMO. However, I forgot to delete Corporatex logs for two years. So I tried to delete them, and it killed our database. And now I'm waiting. Now I'm waiting for the ticket to get resolved with our host, because the database is 504 erroring. Which is probably a good thing, right? Right? <laughs> oh, it's not a good thing at all, dude. It's not a good thing at all. It's pretty bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Whatever, at least we got time because Jake is fixing some stuff on his side, so. My mic is a little big. You didn't know. It's not the mic. It's because I'm yelling. The, the issue is that I'm yelling into the microphone. When I get too excited and I yell at the microphone, then it does this. Yeah, that's all it is. I'm just, I'm just excited. It's best to learn to do... Doing a course on exorcism? Wait, what did I just... Let me let me read that again. What did you just say to me? Is it best to learn by doing a course on exorcism or doing a project? Are you... Are you saying, should I go to school for exorcism or just do it in practice to learn? What? <laughs> I mean, definitely in practice, right? But you gotta find somewhere to catch all the pea soup. There's gonna be a lot of pea soup. You know... That's, it's going to be everywhere, but also understand if you're the old priest or the young priest, you need to have the other counterpart. So if you're the young one, you need the old priest. If you're the old priest, you need the young priest because you got to have both. That's, that's part of it. So understand that as well. Yeah. Pea soup, free soup. True. Actually true. Ugh. Also, I'm still waking up. Also, I'm made out of slime. Also, we're raiding Onigiri in three hours. Because we're doing a cooking stream today. Yeah. Burpole with 1000 bits said, Hey Thor, 
this is the first stream I've ever got a chance to stop by, I'm a big fan of your YouTube shorts, it gives me a lot of inspiration to get up every day, you have taught me it is alright to make failures, to be wrong, yeah, and look to the is. future, improve myself as a person, and take criticism, don't ever stop doing the things you do you're an inspiration to me and I'm sure all of us can agree. Aww. Thank you for being a great person and being full of advice, have a wonderful stream buddy. You'll never prove it, you'll never prove any of it, but thank you. Thank you very much. And my kitchen? No, no, I'm gonna be like a floating body. And then Onigiri's gonna make all the recipes that I gave her in Japan, where she exists. So that'll be interesting. I think it'll be really cool. And I have... Oh god, where's all my stuff? Did I knock it on the floor? Hmm. Oh, I know there it is. We're good. I have the recipe near me. It's on paper. To make failures? At least give your kids a chance in life? Who made you this way? Oh my god, dude. Alright, next. TH15R4ND0MP3R50N with 500 bits said, Hey Thor. Ooh. Hope you're having a good night. You once told the story of your only paranormal experience and how you did some ghost hunting as a kid without any fines. Yeah. YouTubers Sam and Colby do ghost hunting content and have recently stated they would love to do more collabs with other creators. Dude, I'm in. Look into them, I'm sure they would be interested in you hunting with them. Yeah, that'd be I'm fun. a skeptical and analytical person like yourself and love to see people like us in that position. Thoughts on the paranormal? I've had one experience my whole life that didn't make any sense. However, you are about two pounds of fat inside of a bone mech with flesh armor. Human beings are weird as shit. Like, they're super weird as shit. And you are experiencing the world through two little orbs of meat and juice. Like, visually. Like, we see, we hallucinate everything, dude. We are weird creatures. So, the idea of paranormal just being shit we can't explain, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm not surprised in the slightest, dude. Are you sure about that? Are you eating glue again? I'm looking at you. I see you eating glue. Don't eat glue, little pandas. I know you're here eating glue. I'm looking at you. I'm looking you eat the glue. Don't do it. I saw you got your Rulika back. I saw that. I saw you dead. Proud of you. Proud of you getting it. Yeah. There it is. There's the Rulika. Look at that. I love your meat juice orbs. Yeah, instead of saying someone's eyes are pretty, just say, I love your meat juice orbs, and then refuse to elaborate. Like, when they when they ask you a question at that point, because you're probably at dinner, um, and they ask you what, it, what, and you instantly just start eating. Just violently eating. And looking down. I'm sure it'll go well. That's a really good date. Yeah, it's, it's part of it. It's a cat and mouse game, you know? Andrew Van Dulst with five Australian dollars said hi again, Thor. Follow mm. up on my NDIS work, we do have participants who play TTRPGs like D&D and the Star Wars one. I've never played Thanks that. Thanks for your suggestions nonetheless. Oh yeah, no, cool. Yeah, no, I've, I've never actually played Star Wars Tabletop. That sounds like it'd be a lot of fun, actually. I, I like Star Wars as a universe setting, I just I like Star Trek more. I like watching Star Trek more. <laughs> Yeah. I think Star Wars kind of ruined, got ruined for me. Okay, I have an explanation. The reason why I like Star Trek is because it's an explanation of human beings after all the shit we're dealing with right now. It's humans at their finest in the future when we've gotten over it all without whitewashing it and saying that didn't happen. It says all the bad shit happened. And it shows us that we can move beyond all the bad shit on our planet. Yeah, exactly. We can do it. It gives us a goal, right? Star Wars, on the other hand, was mostly about showing children that they can do anything if they put their mind to it. You can learn the Force. You can be a good person. You can do everything like right. You can do all this amazing stuff if you try. It's all about effort. The whole thing is about effort and teaching you you can do anything with effort. And then they added midichlorians. Now you can only do it if you have effort and the cool guy blood. And that was... God damn it, Star Wars. Ruined it. 
100% ruined it. Hate that shit. I hate that shit. Yeah, they did the Harry Potter thing. It's exactly the same. Yeah. That was... It sucked, dude. Yeah, teach the kid, like, you could do anything, but only if you're special enough. No, dude. No. Tell them they can do anything. Let that story be cool. Let it be inspiring for children. Just do that. Isn't that the reality? No. You can do whatever the hell you want. You you could have the coolest, most well, you know, set up family in the on the planet and still turn out to be a loser because you don't try anything. You could have the most rough upbringing possible and succeed in spite of that. That shit is not set by your bloodline. And I hate, I hate when media does that because it's... It's an easy trope to do, and it teaches kids the wrong values, man. Teach them to try shit, not to rely on bloodline, because that doesn't always work. And on top of it, it doesn't teach you anything. It just makes it kind of lame, frankly. It's not good. It teaches kids the wrong values. Sucks. Sucks. It's entertainment, not school. You telling me right now you didn't learn more on the internet than you did in school? You didn't set your standard for like how to view the world based on media that you consumed? Yeah, you did. We all did. That's how that shit works, man. Don't lie to me. <laughs> Pizza Daddy with 500 bits said RPG Maker XP is free to keep on Steam. Go grab it, chat. Make yeah, some banger true. of the games. Is that I was how wondering you about, say these days? I was wondering about RPG Maker. Because we talked about this the other day, and I was like, what the hell even is it? RPG Maker XP. Because they have the strangest ass way possible of ordering their versions. Like, why do they name them so weird? But you know, it's free. I'm going to announce this at the, the Discord. News. At everyone. RPG Maker XP is currently free on Steam. Get you some game engine. There we go. Launched. Now it's out on the Discord. Enjoy. Yeah, it's free. It's the, the free minus 100% free. Minus 100% until February 19th, which is pretty wild, actually. Yeah, it's wild as shit. Next. Unsupervision with 500 bits said good morning, Thor. Good morning. What has been the most unexpected side effect of your recent popularity explosion? Um, being noticed in the supermarket. That's probably been the weirdest. And it's mostly like, there's two kinds of people that notice me. There's people who are like, hey, are you that guy? And I'm like, yeah, I'm that guy. And they're like, cool. And then they leave. And then there's the other one that goes. And they do that. And they just start freaking out. And like, that's the whole interaction. Where like, they just never say hello. They just start like eyeballsing and like panicking and shit. And I'm like, I see you. Like, yeah, I see you over there. I see it. Usually small children. Sometimes not. Sometimes adult human being, which is very funny. Yeah, just say hello to me. If you see me, just say hello. That's all. That's all it is. Yeah, you do. Just say hello. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to be weird in the in like corner, staring at me and panicking. Be like, oh, what if I talk to him and shit myself? Oh. Like, fine. It'll be a joke. I'll make fun of you on stream. That's about the end of it, you know? That's... <laughs> I'll be like, oh, I, I met a guy today and he shit himself and ran away. Like, that's weird, you know? I won't even know who you are. I'll have no idea. <laughs> like... But both of us will remember it for the rest of our lives. So, try not to shit yourself when saying hello. Yeah. Can I shit myself when, you, when I meet you? I mean, yes, technically, you can. But should you is the question, really. How's the judging going for the game champ? Good, actually. Yeah. There's a list. I, I, I pinged the mods because I need more help. 
from the mods. The mods have to help me with this. I can't do it all alone. There's too many of them. Ah. What's a bit called towards? I give you guys a hundred subs. You're right, this random person. I didn't. I've told it so many times before. We have no more ads. Good. We've escaped. Nova underscore is underscore superior with 500 bits said good morning from Pennsylvania Thor. What's your opinion on an Ira style FPS? Ira style? What the hell is Ira style? I hate acronyms. Why would you do this to me? What is Ira? What does that even mean? It tried to... <laughs> I tried to look up IRA style FPS and it... It tried to change it to IRS style FPS. I don't know what this means. Individual retirement arrangements? That's also from IRS.gov. This could be anything. This could be anything. Please don't use acronyms. Acronyms don't travel globally. We don't know what it is. It could be anything. Yeah. It could it could be the thing in Ireland. It could be the, the IRS. It could be any of it. It could be any of that. We'll never know now. We'll never know. If you want, like, to be honest with you, if you wanna if you wanna make a an FPS based on political happenings, you totally can do that. D are you gonna make a divisive thing? Yeah. You are absolutely making something that's divisive. Are people gonna judge you? Instead of based on the quality or content of your game, are they going to judge you based on the geopolitical context of that? Absolutely. So if you do want to make something like that, you are inviting criticism that has nothing to do with the content of your game. So do keep that in mind. You can make this. But should you? Do you want that? It's up to you. Just Dan W with 500 bits said hi strong bad. This is Trevor from Hampton, Maine, and I was wondering if you could teach me how to be as awesome as you. I am a vampire and... What? I am a vampire and? You can't just end it there. You can't just end it. It doesn't work that way. It does not work that way. It does not work that way. Gotta say I love your content. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. It's awesome as hell. Yeah, Evangeline, they weren't saying Iris. They were saying Ira. Which is weird. Yeah, it's IRA in all caps. So not IRIS. Yeah, that's why I'm like, I have no idea, man. They're a vampire. The council got to them. That's what it is. This is my first time ever watching a stream. Did you just go on an ad break earlier? Yeah, so what I do is when ads go to play, which play automatically on Twitch, this happens. And then we wait. And then when they're over, this happens. And then we're good. I wait for you guys in the community. Always. Always, always. Yep. And Olga with 500 bits said if you didn't get the reference, it was for Shin Megami Tensei 1. Old Fake game, yeah. Atlas fan. And if you did, hmm. congratulations. What? Did you play on SNES or PlayStation? Um, I didn't actually play Shin Megami Tensei 1. So that one I didn't play. I have played... Let me think. Let me see what which version was my first... Shin Megami Tensei 2. Let me see when two, what 2 was on. That was Super Famicom. My first one was Shin Megami Tensei 3 on PlayStation 2. And then I are, ended up playing every Shin Megami Tensei game that came after that. But I never played 1 and 2. So those ones were ones I never got to play. But I love Shin Megami Tensei. There was also like a bunch of... There was a phone game for it too that I did play. I played the shit out of the phone game for a while. Do you like Persona? I love Persona. I love basically anything that Atlas touches. It is solid gold. And I have forever. Yeah. I don't even know if I can get 
Shin Megami Tensei 1 and 2 in like a capacity that is, is like possible anymore. I don't know how expensive that they're probably insane expensive. It's like hundreds of dollars. Atlas spelled A T L U S. Yeah, A T L U S. Fantastic. Honest, honestly, amazing games. Yeah, they're a publisher and a game developer. Actually, they're both. Yeah, they're a publisher and a game developer. So they do awesome stuff. Like one of the series is that I like of theirs, and this one I have played all of it, which is Etrian Odyssey. Etrian Odyssey is phenomenal. I love the shit out of these games. And if you see here, here's Atlas. Atlas was the develop. What the hell was that? Why did that go full screen when I control clicked it? That was weird. Let's just normal click that. Okay, cool. But yeah, no, Atlas, Persona, you've got all the Etrian Odyssey stuff, C stuff, you've got Soul Hackers. Like, it's just that they've started releasing stuff up on Steam, and I'm really excited about that, frankly. Because, like, Etrian Odyssey is my jam. I love the shit out of these games. They're so much fun. And what it is, is it's a dungeon crawler, but you have to draw the map as you go and leave yourself notes, because if you don't, you just die. <laughs> like, that's it, dude. So you, you map everything. You have to manually map it all. And I've been playing through this, and uh, I played through it a bunch on stream. Played through a bunch of it on stream. That's fun. Yeah, it's good. Fatless. I I could f get fat playing these games. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. I should probably pin this, shouldn't I? There we go. The TTS should be pinned. There we go. You've been committing tax evasion since 1982? That's probably a bad thing to admit on the internet, you know? I feel like the IRS is rapidly approaching your location. Tax avoidance, however, seems fine. Tax evasion, not so much. But no, I love Atlas, dude. But there are Shin Megami, you know, Shin Megami Tensei games that I haven't played. I I thought I had played all of them, but you're right. I didn't play one and two. You're right. I played three. Three was my first one. Did we just summon the IRS? You did. You did. You summoned the IRS. They're probably in chat right now. Yeah. I never played the online one. The online one I didn't get to play. God damn it. Yeah, Atlas is awesome, dude. Next. Andrew Van Dulst with five Australian dollars said also, to clarify Infinity Wars Classics monetization, all cards have animated artwork, but the free set all newbies have is grayscale and not animated. Okay, so that makes way more sense. We were talking about Infinity War Classics monetization yesterday and how it didn't make any sense. All cards can all cards have animated artwork, but the free set all newbies have is grayscale. So, like, this needs to be explained somewhere in their system, because, like, when we were talking about this game, dude, like, let me pull this up. Infinity Wars Classic. You just gonna not show this now? Just not gonna do it? There we go. So, like, we looked up this card game. This card game is completely free. But the thing that's really interesting about it is most free card games make you buy booster packs, right? And they were like, no. You get all of them. You just get all the cards. And I was like, okay, well, how do you make money? And like, as we went down this rabbit hole, we couldn't find how they made money because they don't really explain it anywhere. They should put a thing here that says, all new players get all of the cards, but they're gray. And then you can spend money to make the cards look cooler. And that's the monetization method. Because like, it's not displayed anywhere. And chat's immediate response was, it's probably a crypto miner. And like, you don't want that. You don't want that kind of perception. Because it's a perception issue. It's just a perception issue. They're not doing that, obviously. It's it's ridiculous. But you, if you have a, a unique monetization method, you have to put it up front. You have to tell them exactly what it is, and they're not doing that. So that's why we're all like, what the hell is it? Like, what's the monetization method? So it makes sense. It makes sense that, you know, it's it's actually just that. Yeah. Doors Combine with $10 said, hey there, Thor. Just wanted to kick a little in. Been dealing with my own treacherous brain a lot lately and wanted to thank you for being there to take my mind off myself for a bit. Anytime, dude. Thank you very much. Tug underscore Speedman with 500 bits said, what is your favorite game on Steam that holds the tag adult? That holds the tag adult? I don't think I have any games on Steam that hold the tag adult. I don't play porno games, dude. How do we pull the tags for the games that I have? I don't think I can. Can I? I don't think I can. You can filter by tags? Let me look. Uh, I can't filter by adult. We've got PlayState. 
Genre? Yeah, there's no adult, dude. I guess adult. I'm gonna have to type it in. I can't even type it into store tags. I don't have what that, dude. Look. It's not in here. It's not in here. And like, if I try to type this in, it doesn't exist. So I guess none of them. Yeah, it's not real. It's not there, you have zero? Got him. No sexual content for me. Get wrecked. Yeah, there's no sexual content tag at all. There's none of this shit. Yeah, there's none of it. Oh, wait a minute. If I type in sex, it'll show sexual content. <laughs> okay, this is weird. This is actually really funny. Let me look through this list. On my list, I have Atomic Heart, Baldur's Gate 3, Disco Elysium, Fear and Hunger, High on Life, Lost Ark, Monster Prom, Mortal Kombat, New World, Plug and Play, 12 Minutes, and Cyberpunk. That's the sexual content in my in my list. That's... I don't play porn games, my dude. Like, you can use Steam for horny all you want. But that ain't me, right? You know, there's a whole free internet out there. If you want it, you don't need to buy it on Steam. I'm just saying. You know, like, that's... It's kind of irrelevant. Baldur's Gate th 3 is probably the horniest thing in my entire list, to be real with you. It's likely the horniest thing I own. Yeah. Support your sexual game devs? Why? <laughs> I don't want to do that. Firewatch is the adult tag? That's funny. Enemy Stando with 500 bits said, hey, Thor, no, I, I was saving I my bits to send you this. You are what I aspire to be as a game dev, and I hope in a plausible future I get to work with you. Not only do you seem chill and rad, but your professionalism is to be loved. As a per my question, I'm currently ending my studies in Grand in Paris, and I'm starting some solo projects. Nice. After discovering your stream I feel my studies a bit useless. What's your opinion? Your studies aren't useless. That piece of paper that you can get from studying like that, from going to school, will open doors for you. And there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever, right? You want to have that. It is an extra added option. The things that you do at home, those are also an extra added option. Give yourself both talent points, man. Make yourself more interesting in the workplace. Learn everything. Everything. You can do both. And that's fine. So, do both. Sometimes it's a good idea. Unless you're putting yourself into debt, you know, like that's the only thing that really matters at that point. Don't do that. Cole Cows with 500 bits said, Yar Cheer 500. Thank you very much. That's super nice of you. You rock, dude. Darcy M with 500 bits said, Yar Cheer 500. Have you seen that Twitch have limited streams to 720p on Android unless you are a sub when viewing on Android? At least her in house when viewing US streamers. Also, did you get the pause shirt? Oh, I did get the pause shirt. It's actually right here. I need to wash it. I have the. Oh, here, let me grab it. Let me grab it. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, I'm back. If you didn't see this, I showed this off when it came in. Actually, it's super rad. Look at this. Look at this. It's a ferret. <laughs> it's a big ferret. Look at him. It's fantastic, dude. It's fantastic. It's the best. Yeah. I need to wash it. It needs to be washed. Because it's like, it's new. It's all new. It's the best. So thank you for sending me that. It's really nice of you, dude. Yeah, it's a really cool shirt. It's really cool, actually. I have to have that right now? Hmm. 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 I should have said it Android TV. Oh, okay. So that's a little bit different. Because when you said for Android, I was like... That's a little weird, because there's so many people that watch on mobile. I think it's like 16 to 20% of our viewership is on mobile. So, like, that's not a small amount of people that would be bound to 720p. So I could see them doing that for a cost-cutting kind of a scenario, right? So if you if you have anything I can read about them reducing the, like, the you know, the resolution directly, like, wanting to do that, let me know. Yeah, let me know. Yeah, no, it's a huge amount of cost reduction. Because if they go from 1080p to 720p, it's about half the cost. So, that's a pretty big deal. The audio quality drop on 720p? Really? I didn't even, I never realized it was that big of a deal. Yeah. I 
I use Android TV on 4K. It upscales horribly. F. You played backpack battles? No. No, I haven't. I need to. Everyone keeps asking about it. Olra with 500 bits said, Yar cheer 500 morning Thar and Goblins. Hope you had a good sleep and are having a good day. I am. If you haven't, have a stretch. Stand up. Get that blood uh. flowing. Good, good. Uh. Now do a backflip. I'm sure you'll uh. be uh. fine, Yar cultist quack. I don't know if I could do a backflip. I could do everything else. I could do all the other parts. Especially the one where you go like... Uh. That's like when you're doing... When you wake up in the morning. And you just kind of scrunch. You ever do this? You're like, you, your neck is good, right? But then you, then you do this, you... You know? You like, take your shoulders, you put them forward. And you go... Like that. That's... That's your morning. That's how it works. Yeah, you become a thumb. You have to become a thumb. That's... Double chin? <laughs> Please. Double chin was ages ago. I'm on to quintuples now. Alright. Yeah, way more advanced. Thank you. Magnum Beef with 500 bits said not asking for legal advice, but I was wondering what is required to protect my IP when I am ready to release my game on Steam. Copyright law and trademarks are confusing to me, and both look like they cost a lot for a small indie release. Same with filing an LLC or some other kind of name to release my game under. I checked your website but there isn't much info on this topic. Any thoughts or non-legal advice recommendations? I have one piece of legal advice for you. And it's that you need to talk to a lawyer. I cannot give you legal advice. That is, that whole question, all of that is legal advice. Go talk to a lawyer. I can't do it. Yeah, I can't. I can't give you legal advice. You have to go talk to a lawyer. I also can't give you medical advice. Go talk to your doctor. Go to the doctor. Go to the lawyer. Go to the doctor lawyer. Go to the lawyer doctor. I can't do that. I wish I could. I wish I could. There's no non-legal advice I can give you in there because it's all legal advice. All of that's legal advice. Do you guys want to see something really cute? You guys want to see something really cute? You guys want to see something really cute? Ready for it? Ready for it? Shay's making new emotes. And chat MD is one of them. Look at him. Look at that chat MD. Look at that chat MD. Look at that chat MD. Chat MD, dude. Chat MD. Soon. 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 All right. All right. Next. Bendale with 500 bits said just venting out a bit. TLDR, sys admin for a number of years now and head of infrastructure for over a year too and yesterday new CTO demoted me back team led of the sys admins and user support with a new manager who's taking over my previous role. Nothing bad is happening on the salary but still felt like being slapped in the face by the new CTO. My yearly reviews have always been between good and excellent. Yeah, that sounds shit. So the new CTO dem like demoted you back to team lead out of the sysadmins admins and user support with a new manager who's taking over my previous role. Nothing bad is happening? That is something bad that's happening. That's ridiculous. You lost the title. You know what I would do? Honestly, I would apply somewhere else. Like, straight up. I would straight up apply somewhere else. Because you have the title for that. Yeah, it sounds like CTO just hired his friend. That sucks, dude. I would I would definitely leave. I would find somewhere else and use that title that you have to get your same job again. Because to be real with you, you you've been demoted into another position, but you're keeping the same pay. You're never going to get an upgrade again. You're never going to get an improvement on your pay ever again because you have a different title now that's not going to be, allow you to get an upgrade. Title is everything in this shit, man. So yeah, no, I would get out of here. I would get out of there. For sure. Also, where are those emotes from? Saiyan Fox. Nico B? Those emotes are fantastic. It's like two penguins high-fiving, but they're not the same penguin. So like one of them, one of them has a different pose. That's cool as shit. I love that. Good emotes. 
50 streams. God damn. Yeah, promoted yeah, promoted a customer, dude. No, I would I would get out of there for one reason, right? So like memes and jokes aside, you have you have a situation where you got demoted, but you kept the same pay. But the problem is this. Usually your pay is defined by your role, and upgrades to that pay, improvements are based on that role. How are you ever going to get an improvement again? How are you ever going to get a bonus again? It's based on your role. You're stuck, locked at that pay forever now. I think it's time to leave, dude. I would start applying to other places. Because that is... You don't want to limit based on the CTO hiring his buddy. That's not your problem, frankly. And it shouldn't be your problem. That's ridiculous. Yeah. That sucks. That sucks, dude. Sorry to hear that, man. Cole Cows with 500 bits said, Yacht Cheer 500. Oh, look, a message this time. My question is, how did you guys piece together how to make enemy waves during Champions of Breakfast? Oh. Trying to make my own shmup and I'm picking brains to make mine work better. So this is really funny. The way that I did this was, was very easy. On the sides of Champions of Breakfast environment, we have a grid. And like, that grid is basically just based on, I, it's not even a grid, it's a zone, right? So we have two zones on either side. We have one zone above. We have one zone below. And if you're wondering, like, Champions of Breakfast, the way that we do spawning is not random. It's actually based on a number of sets of possible spawns. So what I did was I said, okay, when a unit is spawned out in this zone, create an area of an alert at the location where he's going to move and then slide him out to that location after a second. This way, the player is informed of where the monster is going to come in and it's dynamic. In order to spawn that monster, I created an object. And all the object is, is it's in an array. It randomizes the order of the array every time it goes to choose one. So we don't know what, you know, monster spawn it's going to be. And then that object stores all the locations for all the monsters for that specific spawn layout. And they all just move out and do the same thing. That's it. It's really easy. So if I want to add a new spawn layout, I make another object and I add it to that array. If I want to make a new monster, I make a new monster and I add it into one of those arrays inside of the spawn object. It's a fully modular system. If one of the, you know, one of the layouts doesn't work or it's not fun, then I go and change it by doing exactly that. And I have a hard mode version and a normal mode version of each one of them. So in the hard mode version, we may add two extra monsters up here. This way, each one of the monster layouts effectively turns into a puzzle because they're always the same, and you have an optimal way of beating them. So players get into the routine of learning how to beat that layout and then beating it. The way that I balanced this was I made sure that if you can stay in there for two minutes without getting hit and out shoot without shooting a bullet, then it was a proper layout for the monsters. So that's how I tested it. You need to have two minutes of no firing without dying. That's all. Just say level 100 in Brawlhalla. Nice, dude. Have you seen the game go to bed? The game never goes to bed. Never. Never at all. Andrew Van Dulst with five Australian dollars said IWC sells card packs like other TCGs, but they're purely cosmetic, giving animated cards and rarely with additional embellishments, foiled, borders, etc. Okay, so there is extra monetization stuff. I mean, it's not a bad thing. As long as it's all cosmetic shit, I don't care. Like, that's great. That's easy, man. You, you want to have... Like, cosme as long as it's only cosmetic and there's no pay-to-win shit, then we're good. I think that's one of the things that a lot of times happens for card games, too. They turn really pay-to-win really fast, because they're like, Oh, we're gonna release the newest, bestest card! You gotta pay $100 in packs to get it. And it's just like, Jesus Christ. Like, it sucks. It is the worst. And I hate it. Let me see. Well, they see this. What TCG were we talking about? Was, I can't remember the name of it now. IWC? Infinity Wars Classic is what I think it was. What happens if someone with VIP takes on another curse quest? They can just absorb it. They just eat it. That's how it works. That's how it works. They can just steal more of it, dude. Become even more cursed than they were before. Where is all my stuff? There we go. Okay, we're good. Next. 
Rickrew 59 with 500 bits said Yarchir 500 Whopper Whopper Triple Whopper Single Double Triple Whopper on a dark desert highway, hope you have a great stream for laughing face. I got so into it for a moment there. You know, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I have like a secret love of shitty ad jingles. And you took, you didn't even know that I had that. And I have, a, I have a secret love of shitty ad jingles, and you took that, and you hurt me with it. I'll never forgive you. I'll never forgive you. How dare you. How dare Rojo you? Pal with 500 bits said have an idea for an isometric CRPG set in an alternate reality 80s American town. Cool. Would Go Duke be a good engine for such a thing? Yes. Also, thanks for all the positive vibes. It's changed my life for the better recently. You rock, Dude, anytime. lobster. Remember, don't just choose an engine because you think it might be amazing. Go and write out your entire game in a game design document, list out all the features, list out all the costs, list out everything, then choose the engine. So like, go dude, might be really good. Could be really good for you. But it may not fit all the criteria, and you have to figure that out, right? That's the whole point. Is game dev QA all you do? No, but I am a resource for the community most of the week. Wednesdays I play video games. Today we're doing, we're actually doing, yeah, go dude, did you guys not know? Did you guys not hear what happened? Okay, so I, I tweeted this at GoDoot Engine. I said, you this is clearly the only true logo for GoDoot Engine. You've all been pronouncing it wrong. It's GoDoot. And then, well, oh, they changed it back. They agreed. At least for a little while. For one day, they agreed. It was, it was real. They actually agreed. For no <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I said, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. And then I put a T on the end of ladies, and then chat will never let me forget it. That's right. Yeah, it was very funny. It was actually really, really funny. So, we got him. We did it. Go Dude engine was real. Ladies. Yeah, and it's even funnier because I, I deleted the tweet, and I went to go do it again, and then I did it a second time, and then had to fix it before I sent that out. Now, now work on your spelling? On my way. I'm doing it. But no, uh, Godot's fantastic. It's good shit. And it gives you a lot of calcium. I mean, look at it. You know? It's good shit. It's good. Alright. Can you show one of the ferrets? They're all sleeping right now. If you want to look at them, though, you can go to ferrets.live or twitch.tv slash ferret software. Is it pronounced... Go doot or go doot? Well, I think, and I may be wrong about this, it is likely the former, which is go doot. Yeah. Yeah, it's go doot. Yeah. Definitely not the secondary, not the latter, not go doot. It's go doot. Yeah. Yeah. One of them's awake. Which one? Who's wiggling? Who's wiggling on the ferret stream? Oh. Somebody's throwing blankets. Somebody's being a blanket gremlin. Sometimes they like to be blanket gremlins. Well, this looks like somebody is slowly oozing into the poop bin. I don't know why. I don't know why. Hi, Bezos. How's it going? One moment. I was given a treat today. There's a treat at my desk. And I'm gonna eat it now. And no one can stop me. No one. No one can stop me from eating my treat. Oh, it's delicious. It's delicious. It's delicious. Can you have some? No.
Yeah, what if I did a mukbang where I was just eating off camera silently? You guys just were aware that I was eating. I had a band that was like, Thor is eating right now. And that was it. Hey, by the way, um, Jake, we still don't have access to the database. I put in a ticket with a host and they have said nothing. This concerns me. I have a concern. Oh, it logged me out. Oh, logged me back in. They've said nothing. Goodbye, Bezos. Thanks, bud. Thanks for being there. No, there's nothing that Jake can do. <clears throat> yeah, Jake from State Farm can't help us today. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. I know. Fury 3456 no. with 500 bits said yard cheer 100 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 good morning. Just wanted morning. to say that the heartbound music is wonderful to work to. I do transcription work, and this music has pep to it without being super loud or over the top about it, so it's yeah. great to work to. I'm great glad. day, 10 out of 10, would buy the demo again. Well, thank you very much. It's very nice of you. I, I didn't want to turn the server on. Jake, that I haven't done it, because I don't know what's going to happen if I try to. I mean, I guess I could try to, right? You know? Is it down? Oh, yeah, no, the, the server is down. Yeah, it's been down the whole time. It will die, don't do it. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. I don't know what will happen, but no, the server's been offline the whole time. I took it down earlier because I was like, we have to clean this because it's 98 gigs of core protect logs, which is stupid. Like, really stupid. And if we're gonna do the migration, we gotta get rid of all of that. Like, all of that's gotta go away. Yeah. No, no, we've already tried to connect to the database a number of times, it's just 504s, man. It's donezo. It's, it's the, very upset, frankly. It cannot recover. If the DB is down, Pirate Core will catastrophically fail. I love catastrophic failure. I love it. It's my favorite. Catastrophic database failure. Nice. Fantastic. Fantastic. I want to tell you more things like, like homeowner? Okay, sure. Like, here. You know how the Zoomers say Riz, dude? It's just the center of the word charisma. That's all it is. You're just too lazy for a D&D &D stat. You're not clever. You've just taken the center of another word that means the same thing and turned that into your word. That's right. It's charisma. All you've done is taken the S and turned it into two Zs. That's not clever. That's not clever. We've been doing that in game development for ages. ZZ old. You think we don't do that with folders? It's not clever. It's never been clever. We know. We know how that works. Yeah. Yeah. Next. Dark Rager Fire with 500 bits said Yard Cheer 500 Hello Goblin Lord. I was watching one of the VODs from the last few days and you mentioned not liking stereotypical Heros. It made me wonder if you've read or yeah. liked the series called The Dresden Files. The main character is a very imperfect wizard pie. With that I returned to writing my paper on PTSD, under the watchful gaze of the almost complete Thoraven. Everyone keeps telling me to engage in that with Dresden Files? I have not. And now I need to. Because everybody keeps telling me to do it. Yeah. Wizard PI, like, uh, private investigator. Everybody keeps telling me to do that, I need to do that, so I'm gonna do that. Yeah. That'll be my next thing that I engage with, for this stuff. Because it- this has come up like dozens and dozens of times. Dozens and dozens and dozens of times. I think the last thing that I got really into was, um... God, what was it called? Why am I brain- why is my brain turning off? What the hell was it called? It wasn't the Archivist. He was the Archivist. It's a radio podcast. It was a podcast show. Magnus Archives, that's the one. Memphis, thank you. Thank you for pulling that out of my corn sand filled brain. There we go. Yeah, Magnus Archives. Love that shit. It's awesome. Love Magnus Archives. Andrew Van Dulst with five Australian dollars said regarding concerns about card customization circumventing monetization. It's all client side. Each player can see their own title. Art changes only. I feel like you're a very big fan of this video game. 
But yeah, no, it seems fine. It's it's just it has to be explained on their store page, man. Like their their game doesn't explain any of that, so it makes it a weird choice, right? Like it's it's got to they need to put that in the forefront because in today's world, if you don't explain your monetization method, a lot of people immediately think that you're you're putting a crypto miner on their computer. And that's it. That's all that it is. You sound sick? I'm getting over a cold. I'm finally almost over it to be honest with you. Yeah. I'm like I'm right there. I'm at the end of it. But yeah, that's that's the first thing. You need to explain your monetization method if you have a non-standard one. If you don't, people immediately think that you are mining crypto on their computer. And it's not all of them, but that is something that comes up. That kind of a fear always comes up, you know. Wolf Ablay 6 with 500 bits said, Well, Thor, I got to head to sleep, got work in eight hours. Well, good luck. I hope you have a good day, man. Mr. Scotty Devs with 500 bits said, I haven't been around the community for very long. Only discovered you maybe six months ago. So I'm curious about the origins of some of the stuff we have here. Yeah, sure. Like, where did the fascination with gnoming come from? There's no fascination. And where did the cursed quests originate from? 777,777,777. So, gnoming is an old internet thing. And it involves, I guess it is a really old internet thing at this point. Some of you don't even know what it is. You have to show a specific gnome. And that gnome has to play a sound with it. And that sound is like him doing this. And then he says he's Gnaten Gnelf. He's Gnaten Gnoblin. He's Gnome. And you've been gnomed. And like, oh, yeah, please don't call it old. It's old. It's old. You know it is. You know it's old. It's around the same time that we got like Crazy Frog and all the other stupid weird shit that was out there. Yeah, this is what it is. That's what a gnome is. It has to have both, both pieces. The picture and the sound. That's a gnome. You can't get gnomed unless you got them both. Right? And it can be short, too. It can just be the, the gnome sound. It can just be that. It's absolutely old. It's a classic. Damn right. So, that's what that is. For the Curse Quest, Twitch implemented VIPs a long time back. And when they first released VIPs, your VIP would get a diamond next to their name. Right? You get, a little, you get your little, little diamond. You know? You get your little cool little diamond. Thing about it, you can't hide it. Every other icon on Twitch, you can hide. But the VIP diamond, you can't. So I would give it to people to curse them. With a non-removable diamond. Impossible to hide. And that's how the curse quest started. That's what it was. It was like, okay, now you got to go on a quest to get the curse diamond. And there's like a whole... There's, now you can't get rid of it. It's cursed. You know, it's just constantly there. It just became a meme. Yeah. You type on VIP to remove... That's cheating. That's cheating. Doesn't work that way. Doesn't work that way. You only get a hundred, by the way, if you get enough people talking in your chat. It's based on the number of people talking, too. Plus, I'll just VIP you again. Get wrecked. Andrew Van Dulst with five Australian dollars said, Hope I was able to clear it all up. On a related note, yeah. the card that gives character cards the flying keyword is, Give him a jetpack with the best art. Okay, that's kind of funny, actually. You just apply a jetpack to the game? What if it's a dragon? What if it's a snake? What if it's like a really terrifying... What, Dude, I want to give everything a jetpack now. Have you seen the Magnus Protocol? Yes, and I need to engage in it, dude. Like, the continuation of Magnus Archives, I'm so in. I don't even know where they go from there, because, like, the story wrapped up so neatly at the end. So, like, what's going to happen now? I have no idea. Like, it's... Hey, wait a minute. If the power is give him a jetpack... Would a centaur wear a jetpack like this? Or like this? I don't know. Here, you figure it out. Zay Piapu with 500 bits said this is a weekly message. Rain world tomorrow. Ooh. I don't know. I don't think I have anything in the queue for tomorrow. We might burn through older games that I have on the list, because I have a lot of stuff on the list that needs to be played. We've got a lot of play on stream stuff. I'll probably have chat vote. I feel like chat's gonna vote for something wild and weird. And Shrouded was fun as shit, though. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Could be Potion Craft. Potion Craft was super fun. 
At least down here. Yeah, potion craft was really fun, actually. It could be control, though, because con the control bros, they're gonna vote for it. You know they will. Maybe I'll put some really wild stuff in there. We'll put, like, Rain World and Potion Craft and Dwarf Fortress and Control all against each other. And if I put all of those against each other, those are all good games. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And Greyhack. Yeah, we'll put Greyhack in there, too. We'll see what happens. It's gonna be a shit show of voting. It will. Oh. Mmm. It's gonna be wild, actually. Next. D-O-C-O-D-D-K-E with 500 bits said greetings, my liege. Greetings. I want to personally thank you, Goblin Overlord, for being a light of inspiration in these dark days. Keep being awesome. Also, hull awesome. everything, my Goblin brothers. <laughs> Always hull ass everything. It's your life. It's the only one you got. What is this, Jetpack Centaur? Who drew this? C2FR, who drew this Jetpack Centaur? Did you just draw this? I need to know. I need to know who drew it first. It doesn't have a name. I don't know if it's a solved problem. I need to know. Who drew the centaur? I googled it, but I shall find the creator. All right. This is amazing. Not only does it have the back jetpack, but the back jetpack, but also four feet jetpacks as well. The solution is both plus ankle jetpacks on top of everything else. Phenomenal, really. It'll burn his tail. Who gives a shit? You know, maybe that's fine. Maybe the tail being on fire. Maybe he took a potion of fire resistance before doing this. Yeah. Maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. Found the artist? Centauraday.com? <laughs> Dude, what? The last post they made was in 2010. Oh, man. Way ahead of your time. Holy shit, this is way ahead of your time. Look at you. Look at you in 2010, dude. The last post was 2010. Rapunzel Centaur. Hydrant Centaur. Centaur with a sweet wig. Centaurpede. Centaur that r accidentally wandered into the octopus garden. Centaur on a map. Dude, God, you were so ahead of your time. You have no idea. 2010. Get back to it. Do it. Miriam Gibson. If you're out there, Miriam Gibson, I appreciate you. I appreciate Centaur a day. God damn it. An ancient relic of the internet that should be shown by, like, to all, frankly. Oh, Centauri's ahead? <laughs> that's cool as shit, dude. No, that's great. I love finding stuff like that. That's rad as hell. There's another jetpack one below it. It's too late. Already lost into the internet. Next alert. We have to get through all the alerts. We have Cactus to burn the queue. Galactus with 600 bits said you have. One. New message. B-E-E-P. No. What's up, Jason, my man? It's no. your manager. How no. are y'all? No. Listen, I wanted to talk to you about that whole selling out business. Okay. I'm eating snacks. I have Lucy on the other line asking for an update. There's a handful of VPNs and seven different burger franchises with a lot of pretty, pretty boys that she calls friends. Get back to me as soon as you hear this. All right. You've driven yard me to cheer, eat. Yard cheer, 100 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 yard cheer, 100. Also. Where is it? I saw that in the middle. Goddamn Hotel California just sneaking it in. Who made you this way? Why are you like this? 
Trip 1C underscore AC3 with 500 bits said update him a pen tester who told you about an open telnet connection I found on a client's test. These telnet connections were for the production firewall and core switches plus one of their prod file servers. You guys found the artist. Oh wow, her stuff looks awesome. And it's not all Centaur related. That's cool as shit. I love Centaur Day. I love finding artists on the internet. That's awesome as hell. So let's look at this. Who told you about an open telnet connection I found on a client's test. These telnet connections were for production firewall and core switches plus one of the their prod fi Oh. Well, here's the thing. What was on the other side of the telnet connection? Because you can telnet into things, but it doesn't mean that it's vulnerable technically. It can just be stupid, right? There could be a stupid thing on the other side. Because I have a tel telnet connection for our ARG, but there's nothing that's usable on the other side. Nothing at all. So, what did it do? What was on the other side? That's really where it gets down to it, right? You could, you could say that there's like DDoS potential or, you know, lots of data potential, all kinds of shit like that, but connection doesn't necessarily mean vulnerable. Yeah. Console access is not always possible. Console access is not always possible. Yeah. Tonut honeypots are fun to create as well. Yes, they are. It is not always possible to get console access through Telnet. It depends on what you're doing. I'll give you an example. We can have stuff on the other side of a Telnet connection, and all it is is it's, you know, use Telnet to connect, but it's not actually Telnet on the other side. It's other stuff. Yeah. Put fun things in there them for people to find. It was console behind? Okay, that's horrifying. Yeah, no, that's bad. If it's... Dude, if it's console on the other side, then I'm slowly dying inside. If it's anything else, then oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> That's upset. You know? Yeah. Asni Kaninja1 with 500 bits said Doctor's interesting office. random tech fact I found out a few hours ago. The Apple Vision Pro's resolution was tested by iFixit recently and it was found out that the width just barely doesn't meet 4K specs. Yet surprisingly, oh. Apple doesn't advertise it as having 4K screens just because of that slight discrepancy. That's probably a legal reason why they can't do it. You can't say it's 4K because then someone could come and sue you for false advertising. So, it's just slightly below 4K. They can't advertise it as 4K. Normal shit. Pretty normal shit. The EU will eat you alive if you false advertise to people. They're very, very restrictive about that. You cannot false advertise to people. It's, yeah. The EU is dangerous with that shit. So. Jake in a lake with two Australian dollars said, Thor, how many eggs are in your fridge? I don't know. And the reason why I don't know is because Shay keeps bringing eggs home from work. Yeah. So, like, Shay works in exotic, like, exotic vet, and they get ducks and stuff all the time. So when people bring in ducks, they say, hey, we got all these duck eggs and we wanted to gift them to you guys because you're all veterinarians. And then Shay just brings home a bunch of duck eggs. We just get eggs all the time. We just get fresh eggs constantly. So I actually have no idea how many eggs are in the fridge because they don't open the fridge most of the time. I don't look on that side of the fridge, I guess. I look on the left side of the fridge where all my stuff is. But even then, it's like rare. Most of my stuff is outside of the fridge. I have a lot of dried foods that I use to, like, make stuff. I think the only thing I really keep in the fridge is meat. That's about it. Meat and cheese. It's like meat and cheese. It's pretty much it. Biscuit Bandit with 500 bits said, Yar cheer 500 how much wood could a woodchuck chuck wood if a woodchuck could chuck wood down the corridor? I thought I heard them say. Who made you this way? Oh wait, Asmongold, Asmongold covered another one of my clips? Oh, is he freaking out on the fact that, uh... Yeah, he's, he's, he's talking about the fact that his stream costs Twitch a whole lot, because he has an unmonetized channel. Asmund finds out how much money his unmonetized alt channel costs Twitch. That's funny. They still do get their, their like, bulk cost, but they don't have any special deals. Twitch doesn't have any special deals over any other platform at all. We've had a ton of wrenches come in and talk about it, too. The fact that it's the same. Yeah, it's exactly the same. It's it's funny, too, because, like, all these people are like, No, they definitely get a good deal because Amazon owns them. No, they don't. No, they don't. They have they have what is called internal, like, internal, um, what is it called? Not internal transacting. 
whatever. They they charge them internally the same rates as the people on the outside. That's all. That's the whole point of it. So like if you if you're inside of Amazon, if you're an Amazon owned company, you can basically get Amazon services like AWS, but you pay the standard outside rates. And that's how that, that works. It's normal shit. It, like it's super normal shit. Yeah, they have to do that due to competition laws. Kronos has got it right there and Kronos is a lawyer in the EU. So, yes, that's exactly what it is. So, let's say that that Amazon gave Twitch a deal. Now it's preferential treatment. Now they have a problem because they're making non-competitive actions against things like Kick. This is why everybody on the internet is like, no, Amazon definitely charges them less. No, they don't. They can't do that. Internal cost accounting. That's what it is. Thank you. Internal cost accounting. So, like, no, Twitch pays the exact same rates as Kick. And they're both using the exact same thing, which is Amazon IVS. Companies do get discounted rates, though. They pay the same price as AWS Shite Sows. The only discounted rate that they get is for bulk. That's the only one that they get, but they get the exact same bulk rate as everybody else. There's no special deal going on for Twitch, which is what everyone's argument was, is that somehow Twitch isn't paying that because Amazon owns them, which is not correct. That's not correct at all. The bulk rate is the same for every single company. There is nothing going on there, which is kind of funny to me. Wonder if AB1 is going to make Twitch profitable? I don't know. It's going to reduce the amount of bandwidth that we have on people who actually opt into it for 30 to 40% bandwidth usage. Is that useful? Yes. But is everyone going to opt in? No. We'll wait and see. So it's not money going from the right hand to the left. Not the same as that. Effectively, think about it this way. Even though Twitch is owned by Amazon, they're a separate company. And they're not profitable right now. What happens when you're not profitable, but you're owned by somebody else? Well, you got to fix that. Or you don't exist anymore. <laughs> it's kind of how that works, you know? Also, the ferrets just crashed. <clears throat> so yeah, no, Twitch needs to fix this. And they will, I think. It's just going to take time, you know? All right, one sec. <clears throat> Are you going to reload? Maybe somebody will buy it? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, people don't realize this is what happens. So, like, basically, when Amazon bought Twitch, they turned Twitch into a product called Amazon IVS, which is Interactive Video Service. Then they took that, and they rented it back to Twitch, and they also rented it to now Kick. Kick has the same service. And if you want to know about this, open up. You're on my stream right now. So all you have to do is you have to hit F12. Hit F12 while the stream is running and go to the network tab. And just give it a minute. Because what will end up happening here is you'll see an Amazon IVS WASM worker. And what that is, is it's using Amazon IVS to transport the video to you. Normal. It's exactly it. And you can get the exact same thing on Kick. You can see it in real time, this service working to give you the video. A. Hey. That's it. Think this is how they reduce their costs? What is this? Introducing the enhanced broadcasting beta? Oh yeah, no, that's one that they're going to do. So like transcoding is another part of that. Transcoding is actually a very big cost for Twitch. And if they move that over to the streamer side, that's going to reduce their costs dramatically. It's also going to let affiliates always have transcodes, which is great. It's fantastic, actually. Because you have to think about this. Let's go to Twitch Tracker real fast. We're just going to look at Twitch Tracker to see how many broadcasters there are. It's going to be, you know, it's simple analytic shit. Load, you bitch. Load. Refuses. All right, we'll go into stats, and we'll go to active streamers. So in the last 30 days, actually in January, 8.3 million broadcasters went live on Twitch. 8.3 million broadcasters went live on Twitch. There's about 60,000 partners. Like, let's go look at... What was it? Uh, streamer bands. Let's go look at streamer bands. Because I think streamer bands tracks the number of partners. I think they do. Oh, it's 70,000 now. There's 70,000 partners. There's 8.36 million broadcasters. So, like, think about that, right? Think about that whole thing. Easy. It's, it's wild to think about, but that's, that's where the cost is. The cost is not in the partner channels. The cost is in all the affiliates. So how do you fix that? You make it so that affiliates and anybody who's not partnered, they have to do the transcodes themselves. That's it. That's, that's how that works. So it makes it so that it costs very little for Twitch to actually host all of those streams. 
It it makes the most sense business wise for them to do this. It makes this no. Does YouTube also use Amazon IVS? No, they do their own shit. And to be honest with you, their shit is a lot more efficient, frankly. But also their ad revenue is a lot higher because, to be real, and this is something always to think about, Google owns YouTube. Google is an ad delivery company. Amazon is a package delivery company. There's a very different kind of business model there. Google gets all the best ad revenue. They do. Out of every company, Google is king for that. So competing with Google in their own arena is kind of a difficult thing to do. That's not an easy thing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Google has their own AWS equivalent. Yes, they do. Amazon is an infrastructure company these days. Mm, I don't know if that's all of their income. I, I, I don't know what the income breakdown is, but they're a package delivery company and an infrastructure company, you know. Thoughts on Dan Clancy, CEO? I think he's brilliant. I think he's actually doing better for the company than any other CEO that the company's ever had. And the reason why I think this is is not based on like personal bias or interest or anything like that. Um, it's because he's actually present. What is a CEO to a company? What's a CEO? It's a figurehead. All a CEO is is a figurehead. 99% of the time. They're there to make you feel like that platform's good. He's a guild leader. He's the front. He's the face. And what does he do? He gets down there and he streams and he talks to people and he goes on, you know, live stream events and he applied for partner and failed at it. And he chews ice into his microphone during company events. <laughs> you know, he's the face of the company and he's a human. And that's the part that's important, right? That's the part that's important. He's being a good figurehead and he's fixing problems that streamers actually have. And he's changing things that have been bothering us forever because he has the experience of actually getting down in the trenches and streaming. That's what you want. We generally call this dog fooding in the industry. When you're a CEO or a C-level executive and you go down and do the work or go down and engage with the product that your company is selling. That's what he's doing. He's dog fooding. And it's great. It's really good for the platform. It's really good for the platform. And we want that a lot. So... A good example of what happened since he, t you know, took the CEO position. I can multi-stream on Twitch and and YouTube at the same time now. Couldn't do that before. That's phenomenal, actually. That's a huge deal. In fact, most of you are here today because I'm allowed to do that. That's a big deal, you know. So, like, yeah, I think he's doing a great job. I think he's a he's actually engaging in the platform, which is not something we've seen from Twitch leadership in the past. Not not to this capacity. So. Why is it called dog fooding? I think it was Facebook originally. Let me look it up. The history of dog fooding. History of dog fooding. Term. Dog fooding may have originated from the account of President Cal Lan, a pet food manufacturer, eating a can of the brand's dog food during a shareholder's meeting. Or it may have come from the 1976 Alpo commercial featuring actor Lauren Green. I thought it was from another company. I thought it was... Oh, no. There we go. In 1988, Microsoft manager Paul Moritz used to challenge Microsoft's internal employees to use the company's products, saying we need to eat our own dog food. So there's that one, too. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of different ones. So it could be 1976, could be 1988, could be Microsoft, could be a dog food commercial. Yeah. Saying they don't do that anymore? Well, Twitch is. That's important. Yeah, I'll even eat the dog food we sell. It is good PR. It's probably awful tasting, but it's good PR. I, I bet Microsoft still does. I bet they do. Because it's a good standard. You want to do that. We're going to wait for the ads, by the way. And I'm going to eat some snacks. Oh, delicious snacks. Delicious, crunchy snack bag. Delicious. God's delicious. Do you like licorice? I love salted licorice. 
I love salted black licorice, dude. It's the best. I have a ton of it, too. Does Beans know you're stealing from his treats? No. Samyaki's delicious. Yeah, Samyaki's good. Yes. Yep, I do. Yes, I do. I also love Doubles Out, which is awesome. I like all kinds of salt on my black licorice. That's right. Yeah. I have... Where is it? Where'd it go? Oh, wait, I ate it. Shit. I ate it all. Yeah, I had a bunch of Finnish uh, black licorice, and it's delicious. Samiak is awful. More for me. More for me. I am a salt-powered robot. That's right. Yeah, Dutch salted licorice is the best. I, I love... So I got a bunch of it from Finland, um, from San Page. San Page sent it all to me. And I love black licorice. I also had really good black licorice when I was in Ireland, because they had these coins, these, like, super tough... Uh, black licorice coins. I love those. They're great. Just be careful of too much sodium intake with all the salty stuff. Dude, I used to play League of Legends. I'll be fine. Alright? Please. Guts Original with $20 said how to inform my boss that I'm overworked. I was originally supposed to only work only 4 10-hour days which has went to 5 10-hour days sometimes Saturdays and shifts throughout the week have been 12 to 14 hours. You tell your boss you're overworked and exactly what you just told me. That's how you inform him. That's ridiculous. That's a shitload of work. Yeah, take th what you just said here and then send an email to your boss with that. Like, you... what? Why are you working so much? Are you at least getting paid double time for that? Because it sounds like double time. <laughs> like, holy shit, dude. That's terrifying as hell. You should, yeah, t talk to your boss. That's not a good working condition for anybody. Hell, send him, send him this. Boss, why are you working this man like this? Four 10-hour days is fine. That's 40 hours a week. Five 10-hour days, 10 days, sometimes six 10-hour days, 50 to 60 hours a week starts to burn a man to death. You can't do that to him. Not for that long. There might be times where you do that for maybe like a couple of weeks, but permanently? Mm, no, people burn out. Burn a resource that way. You need to fix that. Doesn't work. Andrew right Van Dulst with 10 Australian dollars said been writing up a Halo mod design doc, Pipe Dream wishlist on and off for a while. Those who have played the games will understand the primal fear the following idea I've documented inspires, Stealth Hunters. There's a lot of esoteric knowledge in this, and I don't know which one you're talking about. I don't know anything about it. Someone said, oh gods, dear god, why? Yeah, I've got nothing on that, dude. Stealth Hunters? For what? You talking about Halo? Let me pull this up. Oh, yeah, no. Don't do that. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Uh, I might add support. Let's see. Oh, yeah, no. Um, Jake, you might add support for randomly generated booty with preset content? Yes, you should do that. So, as an example of this, I don't actually have, in, inside of the alchemist houses, I don't actually have a, um, a loot table for that. I manually put the items in, and then those items are just there. Like, it's, it's kind of a grid of nine of them or some bullshit. I don't remember what it is. And that grid of items, because it doesn't have a loot table associated with it, it's broken. I could make a loot table associated with that, but I don't want to because one of them is a book. And books in Minecraft NBT are like a, a freaking, well, it's the it's a whole book, frankly. It's just a gigantic string. Holy shit, Taffy Nay pulled it off. You guys didn't stop Taffy Nay? Really? You didn't stop? You had all, all the time in the world? All the time in the world, and you managed to not stop Taffy Nay. I'm amazed, frankly. I'm amazed. I'm flabbergasted. My flabber is gasted. Look at this. How did you... How did you allow this, chat? How did you allow this? Four in a row? Four in a row? How did you... How did you allow this? 
Look at it. This is a monument to Chat's inability to stop Taffy Nye. Insane to me. I'm going to be right back. I have returned. Also, I have an announcement. I have a cool announcement. Something that I've been waiting on for a little bit. Now, I don't know if this is going to work, but I have a cool announcement. I have put an offer on a house. And that house has enough land for us to build the increased ferret sanctuary. It's happened. And they accepted that offer. So, the next part is inspection. I'm getting the house inspected on the 21st of this month. If the inspection comes out clean, we're doing it. And then the ferret rescue can expand because there's enough space to go and do this. Effectively think about what Alvea Sanctuary has done. We're doing the same thing but for ferrets. We can do it. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. It's contract sealed? I mean, technically I'm kind of on the hook for it, yeah. I signed all the stuff. It's a terrifying thing. How'd the internet thing go? It's all good. We're just waiting on the bill. What it's going to cost. And we'll figure it out from there. Enough room for the mushroom stuff? Yes. There's enough room for whatever we want. Will we be streaming them? Yes. Once we get all this stuff set up. Once we get this stuff set up. What we have to do is we have to build the ferret building. We have to do a thing for that. Um, they'll likely be inside the house at first. And then we have to go and build out a thing for mushroom shed, which is easy. That's an easy one. You don't even build anything. You just get one of those mobile tiny building thing, you know. And then I could do all of this on the land with, like, streams and everything for it, so. Does moving affect your fixed rate mortgage? No. No, it does not. Doesn't at all, actually. There's not much too much room? True. Would there be a mushroom stream? Yes. That is the... The intention is this. Is that I have a mushroom farm stream, I have a ferret stream, and then I have a me stream. And we just have all these streams with all this weird shit that I do to teach you about stuff. Fiber? Likely won't be fiber. It'll likely be fiber to the node and then coax to the house. But the coax should have 50 up. So that doesn't matter. Like, it's irrelevant, frankly. And I've, wor I've been worried about this quite a bit. So I talked to some other people. And I've actually talked to um, some people about how they how they do their streams over stuff. No, coax isn't bad in this case. 50 up is fine. 50 up is totally fine. There are people that I know that are streaming actually point to point. Which is wireless point to point, And they're fine. Over stream. No issues. So like, this is not as scary as you think. Yeah. Yep. So, like, not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Not a big deal whatsoever. Yeah, coax is just fine. So we won't have an issue with this. Aren't you going to be running three streams then? Maybe. We're not going to do them all at once. We're going to kind of scale it up as we go. You know, we might have the mushroom stream for a long time. What is your anticipated downtime for when you move? None. In fact, I'm probably just going to keep coming over here and streaming from here until that happens. <laughs> So we'll figure it out. 50 up? 50 megs up, not gigs, dude. Uh, new state then? Nope. It's about 30 minutes away. It's not even that far. 
Uh, I'm gonna teleport, dude. I'm gonna drive. Yeah, I have a car. It moves. Yeah, so hopefully this works out. We're waiting to see. Yeah. Moving day stream. See, the cool thing is, is it's not that far away, so I can just drive over there and like move some shit piecemeal and be like, I'm moving a table today. Boop, 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 you know? Yeah. Did you do 5k bit rate? I do 8k on Twitch and 8k to YouTube. I'd drop it down to 6k, I think, when I was doing it. You gonna keep your current house? I'm hoping to either... Like, we're trying to figure out if it's gonna become a mod house, or if the tax man doesn't like that, or if I have to rent it, or whatever. But there's no reason to get rid of a house when you have a 2.75% rate on it, because I got it before the pandemic. Like, it seems really foolish to get rid of that. You know what I mean? Like, it seems like something you shouldn't get rid of, right? It's like, wait a minute, that's... That's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Is Onigiri today? Yeah. In about an hour and a half. Excellent. Diva Mage with two pounds said what bug would you implement if game was pirated? What bug would I implement if the game was pirated? I already have a bug that is implemented when the game is pirated, actually. Um, there. It pops up a little thing that says, Yar, this Yar should not appear. Tweet it pirate software to fix this bug. And it just plays this little dude. Like, he just, he's spazzing constantly, and then it plays this music. So then people message me, and they say, This Yar appeared, what do I do? And I go, where did you get your copy of the game? And they go, oh, I got it from this piracy website. And I was like, that's a piracy website. And they go, uh oh. And then I go, okay, let's go through your computer and make sure you don't have malware. Oh, look, you have malware because you got it from a piracy website. So then we help them get the malware off their computer, and I talk to them about it, and then I give them a copy of the video game, because it's usually a young kid, and you were done with LimeWire. That's right, you were. At one point in your life, you were done with LimeWire. Why do you guys- what is this? What is this? Oh dear god! Why is he so cute? Look at that tongue. Their tongues are crazy. If you don't know ferret tongues, they're crazy. They go all the way out. They can lick themselves in the eye. It's wild, dude. Yeah, look at that tongue. Little Wiggler. Yeah. Don't diss LimeWire, I'm not. I'm dissing you when you were young using it, because you were dumb and you ruined Dad's computer. <laughs> and you know it. You all know you did. You know you did. It was LimeWire and Kazaa and everything else, dude. Yeah. You know it. You know it. Rakai MTNS Gear with 500 bits said good morning, Thor. Big thank you. Two things. One, people who can't distinguish between etymology and entomology bug me in ways I cannot put into words. Two, Love when you joke. think about it, Hotel California is just a bad trip advisor. Review with a three minute guitar solo. No, you're right. And th the reason why I'm upset about this is because now whenever I hear the song in my head, I'm probably going to see the words being printed in text for the visual in a TripAdvisor review. Every time. Yeah, no, it's already happened. Okay. Yeah, that's permanent. That's permanent. That's not going away. Shit. A failed Turing test with 500 bits said, Hi Thor, today I learned I am probably allergic to pineapple. Good. Good. Pineapple will defeat you. It's too powerful for you. You have to strengthen yourself. You have to- because pineapple eats you back. Did you know that? Yeah, pineapple eats you back. It's true. You should know that? Yeah, no, here, look. So something you can do with pineapple that's kind of cool, I do this all the time, is you make a pineapple marinade. So take pineapple, and you mash it. You mash the whole pineapple. Mash the whole thing up. And you take that and you put like a steak, inside of a tray, you put the steak in there, and you you pour pineapple all in the bottom, and you pour pineapple all over the top, and you leave it this way for like maybe one to two hours. Anything more than that, and guess what happens? It disintegrates <laughs> into mush, because the pineapple digests the meat. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Pre-digested steak. Ugh. 30 minutes for one-inch steak? I've, I do one to two hours. I like it like that. If you do it for 30 minutes, I don't even know what... It'd be like a really low amount of effect. 
I do it for like an hour to two hours, man. Yeah, I like it this way. That's me, though. Try, try it at different ranges, right? Yeah. Try to do it too stringy if you do it too long. I just, I do it at one to two hours. Usually it's closer to about one hour, depending on the thickness of the steak, personally. But like, again, it's going to come down to personal interest, personal taste. Guga did a lot of experiments with it. Guga's great. I want to see Guga's experiments for that. I'll probably go watch that. But I, I, I usually do it about kind of on the lower end of this, about one hour. Line up those dots. Yeah, it does. Why oh, is everyone misspelling banana? Feels good, man. I know, right? They're all like, Ananas! Ananas! Put the B on the beginning. That's how the word is spelled. All right, it's banana. Bananas. Banana. Pineapple. Banana. Two different things. Two different things. Andrew Van Dulst with five Australian dollars said gotten into customizing I in potion know. craft. Seems I've caught the Iraqi bug and I'm giving names with song references. Nice. Except Mana, which is still Wizard Beer. I should probably change mine to Wizard Beer or Wizard Ale. Wizard Ale. Wizard Ale. Andrew Van Dulst with 10 Australian dollars said healing equals medic. Strength equals macho macho man. Fire equals I am the god of hellfire. Plant growth equals feed me. Seymour, lightning equals and then along came Zeus, acid equals egg chow mine, light equals another runner in the night, etc. Our database is back. Our database is back. Wait a minute. Did it actually delete that? Oh my god. One moment. Um, it wasn't dead. It was dropping that table for the last several hours. <laughs> that table was 90 gigs. <laughs> I'm going to go back to deleting tables. One moment. At least we know it wasn't dead. It was just a 90 gig table. That's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. It just had over 90 million rows. You know? It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. It's just it's been slowly increasing in size for two years. That's all. Just slowly increasing in size for two years. Don't worry about it. Don't don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. I'm deleting all of these other database tables. Version history doesn't matter. World version doesn't matter. Oh, now for the other big one. This one's 27 gigs in size. You ready for the database to die again? Processing request. Oh, it deleted it instantly. We're good. Everything's fine. Nothing's wrong at all, actually. Great. Yeah, this is fine. The database is now 1.7 gigs. Down from 98 Don't worry about it. I actually need context. Well, uh, I've been running a Minecraft server that's an MMO for two years. And we were piping all of the core protect data into the database. We never deleted it. For two years. <laughs> so it was 97 gigs of core protect data. Because I forgot to purge it. I forgot to purge it. Yeah, so it's dead now. It's gone. Yeah, it's it's gone. There's no reason for that. There's no reason for that at all. That's ridiculous. So all our towny stuff is in here now. Plunder stuff is in here. Player data is in here. And ECS shop data is in there. And I think we're good. I think we're good, man. I don't think there's anything wrong. No? Yeah. No? Uh -huh. uh -huh. It's a lot of data. Almost one third of Call of Duty. It's a lot. We just deleted a Call of Duty of Core Protect data. Hey Jake, do you have that other thing done? I once forgot to flush the logs and we ended up storing 1.5 petabytes. Oh. Don't forget about your support ticket. Oh no, I, I didn't forget about it. I'm in DMs with those guys. That's why I'm doing this actually. Is purging that. 
Yeah, we're going to be migrating the block game server, likely. We need to do some tests first, but we should be able to mi migrate. We'll migrate everything first, and then we'll migrate the um, the database afterwards. And because of that, we'll likely have maybe an, uh, an hour of downtime. And then we'll switch uh, hosts. So you guys can have a better connection. We're actually switching over from 2.6 gigahertz on our, our processor, like 4, 4 point something. It's going to be a really big deal. Server's going to get some kick-ass stuff. Better server. Much better. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be much better, dude. Way better. Because we hit the cap on what we can do. Oh, the T... Yeah, you're, you're saying the closed captions are good on here? They're actually not Twitch's closed captions. It's uh, Google t uh, speech to text, and then that's being piped to the endpoint on Twitch that is closed captions. American cheese is nasty. It's useful as an oil base. Yeah, so read like writers. If if you've ever wanted to make really good ramen, this is going to be blasphemy, but it's actually correct. Take a single slice of shitty American cheese, throw it into the ramen because it will turn into oil, and it's a great creamy oil base for no reason. It's actually don't use it as cheese. It's not cheese. It's oil, and it's a really good oil base. Yeah, no, it's good. Yeah, the craft singles, the shitty craft singles. It's an ingredient. It's not cheese. It's not cheese. It's an oil. It's an oil-based ingredient. Don't hate it till you ate it. I'm telling you right now, it's good. Like as an oil base, using that as an oil base is really good. When's the baking happening? In about an hour and a half. And by the way, we're going to be using some processed cheese today, as it's intended, which is as an oil base. Yeah. Yep. It's good. It's good. It's actually really useful. Yeah, you can confirm it's good. Yeah, there's. It's. It's not. Don't use it as cheese. It's not a cheese. It's cheese would chemically change. Yeah, but it's not cheese. We we think of cheese as other things. It doesn't work like cheese. It works like oil. Yeah. It's basically plastic. You're basically plastic. Unironically true, unfortunately. Welcome to Microplastics. Enjoy. There's plastic in my brain. Yours too, actually. Yeah. He has to be DM'd. Oh. Yeah, Jake. ETA on... The Midgard thing. Yeah, there we go. I DM'd him. We have something that we're going to test today. Jake said it would be today or worked on today. I don't know what the ETA is going to be. So I asked him to find out. We're making a change. We're making a change. I'm killing wheat maxing. Farm maxing will die in this change. I have I have found a way. Yeah, Jake said maybe an hour. The game's going to be down for about another hour then. Before we do our initial tests. The reason why I'm going to do this is because it is creating the most egregiously anti-competitive gameplay loop I've ever seen. Yeah. So what you're seeing is this. We have a game that is a social sandbox video game. Social sandboxes are made or broken based on interplayer dispute. The idea behind a social sandbox is that you fight each other for limited resources. The problem that I'm seeing is people build a town and then underneath that town they make 50 miles of wheat farms and then they use this to generate resources and then there's no counterplay. And because there's no counterplay, they imbalance the market with all the coin that they make. They imbalance the market with all the materials they produce, and no one can stop them. So it's not good. It's really bad for the game. Incredibly bad. There's no way to stop this from happening. So, how do we fix this? I tried reducing the EXP in all of, these, all of this. I tried reducing the drop rates. But this isn't fun. It just makes them want to build larger farms to match the inefficiency with more throughput. Shit. We could limit it per day, but then we have to explain those limits and everyone will ask, why am I no longer getting items? That doesn't work. So here's what I did. I'm making it so that in Midgard, you don't get XP for professions and special items don't drop. It only happens in Murkheim, which means you have to put yourself out into a location where there's danger where other players can fight you in order for you to gain profession skills. You have to be careful. And you become content for PvP players 
and your content is trying to do it in secret in an area where other players can stop you and steal all of the materials that you've set up in a farm. This adds counterplay. There will always be counterplay. There is no putting all of this in a pit and farming it infinitely. That's not good for the game. And this should get rid of underground farms while still keeping very cool looking towns on top. Which fixes this problem. So that's the evolution that we're going to try. We're going to see if this works. My anticipation is that it will permanently fix the problem. It will add content into the world. It'll make it so that Midgard is the place you live. And Murkheim is the place you go to get stuff. Which is exactly what it always should have been. And that's it. Why not make farms need sunlight? Because they just... That's not how sunlight works in Minecraft. There's a whole thing with it. They just... They build glass towers. I know how this goes. They would make glass towers which doesn't fix the problem. It just turns into the same problem, but with new, weirder looking builds. Right? So, we fix this. By making it only work in Murkheim. What's the IP? Server's down right now. It's uh, mc.blockgame.info is the, is the actual server. Yeah. So the whole point for this is to make it so that we add counterplay back, we make it do something, and you can still get basic materials in your world. So like if we... If you go and harvest beetroots in Midgard, you're still going to get beetroots. So you can have subsistence farming, basic farming. But you're not getting any EXP for that, and you're not getting anything else. No special materials, no nothing. And that's it. It'll be easy. And I'm going to put it on the little signs for the different worlds so it's clearly explained. Yeah. And after all this, you suddenly remember it's a kid's game? No. No, this is, this is an MMO that we built inside of Minecraft. Minecraft's just the engine. I'm making a social sandbox MMO. I have been for two years. Now, oh, uh, Welcome to building a social sandbox game. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> Conflict. Conflict. Bloodshed. Wheat. That's how it works. I actually wrote up the patch notes. I said, Origin is no longer safe from hunger. This is the first of the change. This was causing people to AFK and clog up the server. It was also thematically game-breaking and made no sense. No more hunger safe havens. Number one. Number two, a, da a damaging aberrant gameplay loop has been fixed and is described below. Players were incentivized to build vertical farming towers. There was no counterplay to this behavior for other players. This created an imbalance in the market and further incentivized the behavior. The server performance became impacted due to the abundance of this method. I attempted to nerve the behavior with lower DXP and drop rates. Players just pushed it further and caused more harm to the server. I have now removed all profession EXP and drops from Midgard to stop this behavior. This server is not for automation or mass farming operations. It's an exploration-based social sandbox MMO. Go have risk with your reward. That is how I want it to go. And it's it's down to fixing that kind of a problem. Yeah. Down to fixing that kind of... Is, did I misspell performance? Did I? Performance. Performance. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. So I think this is the most important thing here, right? I think this is the most important thing is... We had we removed over two hundred thousand blocks of wheat, and there's that was from like, I think five towns. There's like a hundred towns. We removed two hundred thousand blocks of wheat from five out of a hundred towns. It's it, why we can't do this. We have to fix this. So we're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix it like this. Counterplay is back on the menu. Yep. No wheat maxing. No wheat maxing. I refuse. I'm starting the grain wars. No, you don't have to starve. You can still make food. you like WoW and would you play it? I played WoW for years. I've got an active sub. I need to play it more. I just don't have any freaking time. What's your favorite roguelike or rouge-like? My favorite rouge-like. As you spelled it, rouge. 
Roguelike. Noitha. Yeah, I think Noitha is my favorite roguelike, legitimately. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be Noitha. Easy. Hundred percent. Love the shit out of the game, dude. Awesome as hell. Ace Kakuran with 500 bits said at Parade Software, no word of a lie. I just ordered a bouquet of flowers for my GF, and oh. I left a message. On the order confirmation, the message just reads as seven. No joke. Do you... Do you like being single? Like what? What? You... You go the whole mile to get flowers for your girlfriend. And you put a stream meme on it? Does she watch the stream? Is she going to get it at all? You're going to have to explain it to her if she doesn't know. Or just be like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I think the best way out of this, if she doesn't know, dude, I would just say, you know what? Like, when they when she gets it and the card opens, she says, why'd you put seven? I'd be like, I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know. I didn't do that. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Yeah, must have been the wind, dude. Wasn't me. Could be anybody. To Lowhawk 808 with 500 bits said, Hey Thor. Hey. Before you said sometimes rather than making a game, devs sometimes just want to play a game that doesn't exist. Yes. How do you deal with wanting to make a game that doesn't exist, but more so wanting to just play it? I have this issue. Also, don't worry. Planes are safe. It's not like yeah. you can get XCOM'd in real life. Unlike cars getting trapped on a dark end cold desert highway. Desert highway? God damn it. God damn it. Yeah, to be real with you. So like, uh, you said, what happens if, if you're a game dev and you want to play a game but the game doesn't exist? Yeah, we feel that all the time. We feel that all the time. I'm constantly thinking about games I want to play that don't exist. That's why we make games. It's a big reason why we make games. It's because we want to make something that we want to play. It doesn't exist. So that feeling right there, use that. Use it to make games. 100%. Stop linking this. What is this link? What is this Google link with tracking shit you have? What is it? C2FR, why? What is it? Why is there a, a novel of a link? What are you doing? Stop it. This is probably a gnome, dude. It's probably a gnome. It's got Google tracking shit all over it. Nightmare, dude. Ah, yeah, exactly. URL shortener, please. But if it's a URL shortener, I ain't clicking. That could be a no. Amino FPS with 500 bits said hi. Oh, we got ads. I had a great idea for a new game yesterday. I was stood in the doorway and heard a bell. Anyway, I decided to go for a walk on a dark desert highway. I thought it was real. I thought it was a real question. But we're going to Bezos ad, so I guess that's fine. I'm gonna eat some more snacks. Bezos, you're gonna show up so I can eat some snacks. Come on, man. Come on. I'm, I got the snacks. They're right here. Please, Bezos. Come on. Come on. Come on. Really? You're just gonna, you're gonna hide off stream? You're gonna hide off the stream. He's shy. Oh, fine. If you don't want to show up, I'll just keep doing the stream then. We'll just hang out. We don't need you. Don't need you and your ad inter- Fine. Okay, fine. Alright. Now I'm gonna eat my snacks. One moment. Oh god, I'm so full of snacks. I'm so full of snacks. It's so good. I'm glad that chat is following suit. This is good. Even Kronos is doing it. Just ah! This is how. This is what we do during ads. Now, we just scream. 
We just scream when there's ads. And we keep streaming until or screaming until there's no ads. And this is our new ad break. Chat unreadable. Screaming. Trying to double up on Ubisoft's new entire method of rating games. The quadruple A? No, just ah. That's it. That's what we do now. Bees. Ugh. Thank you for the $50 for the mods. Ghostly method. That's incredibly nice of you. Thank you. Support those mods. Due to your generous donation, we can now finally still not feed the mods. That's right. We can continue to starve the mods because of you. So thank you. Thank you for doing that. Fantastic. Fantastic. We did it. We did it. We starved the mods. Thank you very much. What did the $50 give? It goes straight to their accounts. Here, watch. If you're wondering how this works, um, that doesn't touch me at all. Like, here, look. See this? Look at this. See this? See that? Huh? See this? I get none of that. That goes directly to their accounts. All of it. None of it touches me at all. And because of that, I don't have to pay taxes on it. Hey, but also they get paid. So if you guys give to the Pally GG, it does that. I'm actually in talks with the people who run Pally GG. They're trying to get an API system set up so that we can now route your guys' messages into the queue when you feed the mods as well. So that'll be a thing soon. So that's going to be a lot more incentivized is the idea. You said you're starving them and confused? Well, I mean, yeah. We give them money, not food. They can't eat money. Have you ever tried to eat money? Ugh. It's gross. It's all covered in hand juice. No one wants hand juice. Gross. Nasty. Nasty. Andrew Van Dulst with five Australian dollars said regarding acid, I allude to the lyrics, filthy brown acid rain, pouring down like egg chow mine, from a certain 90s animated mine? film's villain theme. <laughs> egg chow mine. Why does he pronounce chow mein like that? Maybe because it's like, you separated the word? That's weird. Also, by the way, um, that movie is one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, Fern Gully is fantastic. And I, I believe that is from Fern Gully. Yeah, Filthy Brown Acid Rain pouring down like H.O. Main. I think it's, I think it's the, the pollution guy from, from Fern Gully. I loved Fern Gully, dude. Uh, that's such a good movie. Such a good movie. Never seen Fern Gully? Stop watching this stream right now and go watch Fern Gully. What are you... What are you doing? So fix fix this part of your life right now. Also, they give the $20 to the moderators, by the way. No, Fern Gully's awesome, dude. Fern Gully is amazing. Ed, let me let me pull up Fern Gully for you if you've never seen this. Old, old movie. Robin Williams was in it. Like all kinds of people was in this. Tim Curry was in it. Tim Curry was the villain. Yeah, Hexus. He was the villain. Phenomenal movie, dude. Tim Curry was like a pollution guy. Oh, God. Batty's song is playing in my head just because I looked at this. Look at him, dude. Look at his weird pollution form, dude. Yeah, the Batty rap is playing in my head. I saw Batty like, when I was looking it up, and I was like, oh, God, it's stuck in my head. I can't play it. I'll get like DMC8 or some shit, dude. I'm just going to get wrecked. Yeah, Robin Williams was Batty. And Tim Curry was, was this dude. Fringoli's good. Avatar is Fern Gully? No, it's not. No, no, it's not. Can I please get shouted out? No. But since you're here to try and advertise your own channel instead of engaging the community, I will unceremoniously ban you. Yeah. Yeah. If you want anyone here to care about the cool things that you do, if you do cool things, you have to engage. You have to do that. You have to say, hi, I'm going to join the community. That's how it works. That's how it always works. Now you get to explain to me in your unbanned request why that was a mistake. Do you know what it, we actually, I'm going to be real with you. We ban like maybe 10 to 15 people a day that just show up and post a link to their own channel. It, it's a super common ban in here. Like a really, really common ban. It's just they show up and they just, they say, I'm going live. And they just post their own language, ban them. Like instantly. 
every time. It's it's ridiculous, actually. Yeah, it's super lame. It's like shitty. Super shitty. We also ban people who beg for a, a sub. Because they'd be like, someone sub me. Ah, no, 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 no begging weird shit. No crying in chat for that. Like, it's gross. Like, don't do that. You don't need a sub to enjoy a stream. You can just hang out. I pause for ads anyway. Who gives a shit? You're fine. It will be fine. What is this? Fern Gully is just Pocahontas? No. Most stories center around a woman with an adventurous spirit, Chris the Pocahontas, who lives among a people that live in harmony with nature, the fairies of Fern Gully, who become threatened by foreigners, humans, English settlers. <laughs> Buh. 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 Are you guys linking my own channel to me? Nice. Please follow Pirate Software. Oh, God damn it! that's funny as shit. Join me live on Twitch, Pirate Software. See, now you're just, that's how it works, dude. I can't believe that Pirate Software guy advertises my channel all the time. What a piece of shit. Alucard with $5 said, Hey Thor, I'm not sure if you'll want to get collector's editions for games, but Space Marines 2 has a pretty sick figurine that comes with the edition. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, sometimes I get a collector's edition. I did for Guild Wars 2 because I wanted the little fire sword catman, right? I wanted that. Um, I did for every version of every Blizzard game ever because I worked there and they gave them to us. And I'm trying to think of any other ones I got. Oh, I got the I got the collector's edition physical copy of Eve Online that came with the tiny Rifter. You know, that was fun. That was cool. It was like a USB that could not really be used correctly. It was a nightmare. Yeah. So I have that. Yeah, the the Rifter USB hub. I still have mine. I still have the box. Or right, Ritlock, Fiery Sword Catman. I'm calling him a Fiery Sword Catman, and there's nothing you can do about it. He collects his edition to Lord of the Rings online in the expansion. Mines of Moria. Did you have that? That's cool. I think you have to ban Pirate Software for asking you to sub to Pirate Software. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Hey, Mods, can you ban Pirate Software? Yeah, that guy's a dick. Could you just... Could you ban him? Try to... Yeah, ban him, quickly. The stream's still running, you gotta ban him. Ban Pirate Software. Get rid of him. Get rid of that guy. You cannot bro ban the broadcaster? Damn it. <sighs> it's too ingrained. It's too light. Stream's ruined, dude. Pirate Software's online. Sucks. Riding with Terry with $5 said been watching your videos while on the road as a CDL driver and finally caught a stream because I'm parked for the night. CDL driver? What does CDL stand for? What does CDL stand for? Semi truck driver? Dude, that's a tough job. Yeah, no, that's it. I'm going to be real with you. Being a commercial truck driver, that is tough. That is not easy. The fact that you said I'm parked for the night means you're you're sleeping somewhere out there in in your truck. That's a yeah, you drive a big rig? That's tough, dude. That's not an easy job. A lot of people look down on stuff like that, too. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. That shit's awesome. That's an awesome job. Usually pays really well. Usually don't have to pay a whole lot on, like, where you live or anything like that. And if you don't have to have any, like, be-at-home-all-the-time obligations, it's a really good life to live for a while. You know? You may even want to stay that way. Totally fine. But it's a great way to make money. Really good way to make money. Truck drivers deliver. Oh, I didn't even see what it said. Smashes your back in the long run. It can. Yeah, that makes sense. You got to have a comfy seat, you know. But it's it's a cool thing. Automation is coming for that job, though. Yeah, it could be. You know, we've seen we've seen automated trucks like that. But the grand majority is still human workforce. You know, we depend on the truck drivers in the United States heavily. And the reason why we depend on the truck drivers in the United States super, super heavily is because we have so much space. We have a huge amount of space and trains can't cover it all based on the amount of space that we have. So we use truck drivers, we use space, and we use, you know, like we we are we use truck drivers, we use trains, and we use planes for everything. Just a huge amount of space. Massive amount of space. Yeah. I grew up in a trucking family. Yeah. Your dad was CDL drivers? Wild sometimes? That's crazy. Yeah, we use space. The US is an extremely lacking rail network for freight. We do, but there's a reason for that. So let's go to... Uh, true size of. We've talked about this before. The U.S. does, could do a lot more with rail, but we have a huge, and I mean a huge amount of goddamn space. Let me pull this up for you. 
True size it. Let's go look at the United States. Let's go grab, I don't know. Let's go grab Germany, right? Because Germany's pretty goddamn big. Germany's a big place. Big old Germany, right? Let's just... Oh. Oh. It's not even as big as Texas. Let's go to India. India's probably going to be similar. We'll probably get about the same. Oh, oh wait, no. Because we're two of India. Let's go grab Australia. Let's just Let's just take this up there. Now, do you want to know why Australia isn't a good comparison? Because everyone in Australia is right here. And like a little bit over there. And nobody's in here. It's just desert and gone. It's tiny. Canada? No, that's that's Greater Minnesota. That's part of that's part of the United States. I don't know why it's labeled as Canada. That's not correct. Yeah, that's not real. Yeah, it's it's great. See, this is Minnesota. This is Greater Minnesota. That's that's why it's North America. Yeah. This is this down here is actually southern Texas. South America. That's what that is. Yeah, that's what that is. Russia's probably the only one I would say is even like kind of close in this. Because you've got Russia's just a huge amount of space, though. How much of Russia is not used? Because, like, you guys do have a lot of area that's not used in Russia. It's much bigger. Much, much bigger. Yeah. You're going to start wars? No, I'm not. We're not playing Risk right now. Yeah, Russia's enormous, dude. 70-something percent? Is 70-something percent being used or not used? Because I'm always interested in that. Australia is a continent. Australia is two coasts, is what it is. And you know that, Australians, you know that. 70% not used. Yeah, almost everywhere in the United States is used. Almost everything. Oh, no, dude, places in Africa are enormous. Like, a lot of people don't realize how, like, DRC? Oh, it's not even showing up. Uh, Democra Democratic Republic of Congo. Congo, there we go. This, like, it's crazy how big stuff in Africa is. It is crazy because you think it's tiny because it's down there like towards the bottom of the map. But when you pull it to the equator, it's going to be much bigger. Like, like Africa's huge. Africa's enormous, dude. Yeah, it's crazy big. Africa's huge. Pull USA to Africa. Let's do it. United States. Boop. Oh, God, wait. No, no, not that one. I want the United States contiguous 48. There we go. Like, baby shit. Look at that. Look at that. We're like one-third, maybe? One-fourth? Hi, Europe. How's it going over there? What's that? What's it like having all of Europe inside of America? What's that? You want to talk about rail systems again? Let's talk about rail systems. Mongolia. Kazakhstan. Russia. China. It's about the same size as China. China's got a little bit more up here, but we have we have Alaska. So that kind of that kind of counts for that. Yeah. It's also missing our biggest state. Yeah, Alaska's enormous. If you don't know how big Alaska is, I think I think the United States and China are about the same size when you compare into Alaska. Yeah, it's about the same. That's like all of China. Alaska's huge. You don't realize how big Alaska is. It's it's like half the U.S. Alaska's enormous, actually. It's terrifying, frankly. Alaska, one of our states is like half of Europe. And to be honest with you, you may not have realized this. But this is the true size of Texas. This, this is, you didn't realize it, but it's all been Texas the whole time. It's always, it's always been Texas, Chet. Yeah. You see that? Texas. It's all, all of it's Texas. It's all Texas. Always been Texas. Yeah, the whole time. The whole time it's been Texas. You've all been in Texas, dude. You thought it was Ohio? That was a ruse. That was a ruse. See, there's Earth. There's actually the known universe. There's Ohio. And then for the true believers, there's Texas. You didn't know. You didn't know. Now you know. Now you know. Next. Shoot one with 500 bits said Thor. How do you deal with parasocial viewers who submit multiple TTS a day with increasingly Buffalo Bill vibes? Well, I'm, I'm going to be real with you. Every once in a while, there's somebody who watches the stream 
that I feel could turn me into a lamp made out of my own skin. I feel like that that does happen. It's not it's not common, but it does happen. And the way that I have to kind of rationalize this is if we look at last month, we had 2.6 million viewers. So if we do, let's pull out a calculator. Let's let's just I can I not pull out a calculator right now. Are you being dumb? Thank you, Windows. You're the best. One moment. I'm going to I'm going to fix this because it's being a big piece of shit. Let's just restart that. You good now? Calculator. You good? You dumb? Okay, there we go. Calculator. Thanks, bud. So we have 2,600,000 unique viewers in the last month. Let's say that, I don't know, 0.01% are Buffalo Bill vibes. 0.01 would be 1%. So 001, right? That means 260 people would turn me into a skin lamp. That's still a lot of people trying to turn me into a skin lamp. You know? So this shit does happen. It does. And when it does happen, I silently close the ticket and leave the internet for a number of hours. <laughs> There's nothing... I'm like, well, that's a... That's one of those. Let's just get rid of that, you know? And it's never it's never like some it's never someone being awkward. Being awkward is normal. That's fine. It's always like it's always like, "Hey, can you can you tell me where you live because I really want to I really want to come meet you in person." Like I really like I need to meet you in person. Like I need to I need I have to. I have to do it. And if I if I don't do it, then bad things will happen. Yeah, like that kind of a thing. That's when we're like, "Ah, ah uh you know, like that's that's when that is like that. That's sometimes you have to, eh, you know, yeah. The urgency, the urgency is what freaks it out. You know, like makes it terrifying. But no, this this does happen. This is a thing, right? Oh man, you're getting those. I've always gotten those. Like uh, I'm gonna be real with you. If you if you are a streamer, if you're somebody who does things on the internet, if you're even moderately well known on the internet, these types of things start to happen, right? And it's not it's not because people are all weird. It's because some people start to add a certain level of self-value to the connection that they have with their favorite media person, whatever that is, a streamer, a, a movie star, whatever, right? They assign their own value to that. You should never so assign your own self-value to the actions of another person. You should assign your own self-value to your own actions. And that's what leads down that route, right? Yeah, the parasocial thing. The very social thing. That's what leads down that route. You're assigning your own self-value to the, the actions of somebody else. Or to the, the perception of someone else, too. Someone else's perception does not define your value. Ever. Ever at all. Even in relationships. And this is an important thing to understand. In a relationship, your self-value is not defined by someone else's perception of you. Even your partner's. That's not your self-value. Your self-value is to take that and go, well, I'm getting this feedback. Are they right? And you may trust them much more than somebody else. You, they may be correct, but you have to assign that to yourself. Don't let somebody else change your perception of you just on a whim. You need to determine if that's correct. And when you stop determining that yourself, it leads into these types of behaviors and it gets out of hand. It can get very extreme as well. Really extreme. But yeah, please don't turn me into a skin lamp, please. <laughs> I like not being one, you know? Yeah. Feel like a wiser goblin for hearing this? I mean, yeah, this is kind of how I feel in life. Will the cooking thing be on both streams? No, we're going to raid over in about an hour. It'll be a thing. Andrew Van Dulst with five Australian dollars said just remembered. Not all of them have song names. Charm equals wheel bang, okay, and sleep is a swift punch to the face, accompanied by a Ron Swanson quote. Hmm. Hmm. Sleep is a swift punch to the face. Where, where, what is the context? I'm missing context. I'm missing critical context right now. Andrew Van Dulst. I'm gonna go look this up. Sleep is a swift punch to the face. Are you talking about songs that you listen to? Yeah, missing context. Oddly satisfying. 
Oh, oh, that's what it is. That's what the that's what the context is. It's the name of your potions and potion craft. That's why I was like, what is going on? No, 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 no. It's um, it's the names of the potions and potion craft. So charm is will bang, okay, and then sleep is a swift punch to the face. That's what it is. Yeah, they're naming their potions and potion craft. I was so confused. I was like, what's happening here? Lefty underscore Sinistro with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, I'm currently enrolled in a 24 week cybersecurity boot camp and plan on getting my SEC plus cert. Nice. What cert would you suggest getting next if I wanted to be on track for a SOC analyst job? I was thinking CCNA. Also, I have a BA in theater with a minor in creative writing. How would you use those skills I learned acting and directing in the cybersec world? Acting and directing the cybersec world is going to be social engineering 100%. That is incredibly valuable. Incredibly, incredibly valuable. Yeah, SOC analyst is SOC, not SOCK, you goblins. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, the man's out there looking in your, in your, you know, in the drawers of your dresser, looking at all those socks, you know, like just looking at them all. Need to determine which one's wrong, you know? Yeah, the SOC analyst. God damn it. But no, with that in mind, yeah, use that. Use those skills for social engineering. You can do that. That that augments your ability to do engagements. You could say, I'm going to, you know, I can role play a character. I can act as this. I can see how to manipulate a person. Because a lot of acting is manipulating the emotions of your viewer. That's what it is. You're trying to make sure that the emotion you want them to feel is conveyed in a way that they can empathize with it, right? So, like, you're doing the same thing in social engineering. Just you're doing it with an objective in mind. And that objective is to get information or to, um, you know, get access to something or whatever it's going to be. It's it's objective based communication. So you're you're already got a basis in that. So I would use it. As for the the rest of your certs, you already got Sec Plus. Sec Plus is you're well on your way. I would probably get Network Plus, like Net Plus. It's probably a good thing if you're going in that direction for SOC analysts. Like that makes the most sense. I think that's. I think that makes the most sense to me. There's probably other stuff in there, but I would look to see if you're getting a job in that field, look to see what that company wants, frankly. And if you already have a job, a lot of the times they'll pay for it. And usually they'll have like some kind of internal thing where you can go and get certifications for free. Happens a lot. Network Plus is too easy, but it's, it's easy and still opens doors. Like that's the biggest thing, right? That's the biggest thing about it. Yeah, Onigiri is going to be in about an hour, man. We're going to, we're going to raid over there and I'm going to make food. Well, actually, Onigiri's gonna make my food. Yeah. Yeah. Get a certificate for analyzing socks? Yes. Yes, indeed. Say to me, what is this? That might be a gnome. I'm not clicking that. Could be anything. Could be anything. Could even be a gnome. Could even be two gnomes. Yeah, Sec Plus is mandatory for DoD jobs. We're talking about Net Plus. Not a gnome. Is it cute? Mmm... -hmm. Why does that say Bubble-O Bill instead of Buffalo Bill? Bubble-O Bill is a, panda, a, a brand of packaged frozen dessert sold in Australia and New Zealand. Manufactured under Unilever Streets brand and formerly available in the United States and the United Kingdom under sister brands Good Humor and Walls, respectively. It's an ice cream with a bubble gum for the nose. It's bubble o built. <laughs> That's so grim, dude. That's so freaking grim. What the hell, dude? What the hell, dude? That's funny as shit. Sec plus isn't mandatory for DoD jobs. It is only if you want elevated privileges on DoD machines, typically. So, to be real with you, I didn't have any certifications at all, and I worked for the DOE. I hacked power plants for the federal government. So, even then, like, you may not have to have them, depending on your work experience. It's mandatory to an extent. It's work experience always trumps everything. Yeah. Agency-specific as well. That's true. But yeah, for me, there's there's always exceptions for stuff. Yeah. I think it's really funny. Bubble low bill. Jesus. Look at my all my fellow Australians. Dude, Australia's got some wild stuff. I love Australia. That shit's awesome. Ash Mandora with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, I am a Hi. physician, but I have been programming as a hobby for almost 20 years. Nice. Python, Golang, Rust, WebDev, C++, you name it. Hmm. Sometimes I feel like I am out of place as I am the only one with such passion in my field. I though about utilizing my passion in developing my own startup game, app, but I am not confident. Any tips regarding balancing my dev passion, work as a doctor? You kick ass. You don't realize how much ass you kick right there. It is so common 
that people get into programming because they want that paycheck, not because they love it. It's a really, really common thing. People get into the tech industry because they want money. You have a serious passion for this. 20 years of that with so many different languages, same shit for me. You can do whatever the hell you want. And the fact that you have a doctor background on that, you got the money to pay for anything you want to do on the side. So don't wait. Don't worry. You're already there. You've been doing this on the side as a passion thing. You're a doctor for your day job. You got it made, man. So go make stuff. Go build things in the time you do have, which I know doctor is a very demanding job. There's nothing you should be waiting for. It's not even about confidence at this point. You know that you can do it. You don't need me to tell you that. So do it. Do it. Don't wait for me. Go do that. Go make some shit. Join some game jams. That's awesome as hell, dude. There was a dude that I met at Blizzard that was really similar to that. He was, um, he was an AI programmer. Dude did neural networks and machine learning and all this kind of stuff. And you'd think like super heavy, you know, programmer in that direction. Man was jacked. He was actually on the show, um, what was it, like American Ninja or whatever the hell that show was? It was him and his wife because they were both like super fit people, like super into fitness, super into like like body movement shit. He was on it. They didn't show his footage because he destroyed it. That wasn't even a joke. Yeah, Ninja War American Ninja Warrior. He was on it. They never showed his footage because he destroyed it. He completely annihilated it. And he was a dude that worked at Blizzard with us. Awesome as hell. Crazy ass, dude. So like, if you can do it both, like to do two things at once like that, you're a doctor and a programmer, you're going to do awesome shit. You do awesome shit. How do you know it's true? Because they got the footage. <laughs> yeah, he had the footage. <laughs> yeah, no, he had the footage for it. They're they're crazy cool. He actually he used to run um, fitness courses at Blizzard in the parking lot, where they'd bring out a big tire and stuff, and they'd like teach other people to like do it and all this kind of stuff. I don't have the footage; it's his. But no, that's like he used to do all that kind of stuff. They'd organize all that stuff for like employees to go and like get fit and do things and like run obstacle courses and shit. So yeah. And the parking lot is crazy. No, we had a big parking lot. Some of it was like sectioned off for that every time. Did you do his course? No. I'm a dork, dude. <laughs> I used to watch him for the way I was like, Jesus, look at those dudes. That ain't for me. I'm going to go back on my computer. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, no. Not even a little. Hey, you kick ass. Andrew Van Dulst with 10 Australian dollars said ever been to New Zealand. Nope. Lovely place. They've got relaxing hot tubs and fun gliders over at Omarama. Mum's convinced anything NZ is the best. Nothing to do with her being born, raised there, I assure you. A lovely place? Would you say it's such a lovely place? I'm on to you. I'm on to you. I'm on to you. And then you complain, we do it? No, dude, he did it. Why do you think you said lovely place? I know what you're doing. I'm not paranoid, you're paranoid. I've known the entire- This is 100% on you. They hid that in there on purpose. He knew. He knew. Now Bezos knows. But he's not showing up. Twitch is late today. Twitch, please. Twitch. Twitch. I, I'm out of content, Twitch. There's no more runway. I've done all the jokes, man. I got nothing here. I'm just sitting here waiting for Bezos. Please, release me. I need to eat my snacks, and I can't do it till the ad break. Come on, Twitch. Yeah, finally. Jesus. Snacks. Oh god, they're delicious. Ah! Your tinfoil hat is showing? Good. Yeah, and I get a timer that shows me when the ads are going to show up, and it just says, like, ads about to start for a long time today. It's like something's going on on Twitch's side where it's not going very quickly. No, no, why? Did Oscar Bond just cuss you out? He better not have. Where is he?
You think somebody saying stapler monthly at you is cussing you out? I don't think that is. Why don't you eat on stream? Because the Buffalo Bill lamp enjoyers like clipping me eating and then making compilations of it. Just like they do when I sneeze. I'm on to you. I'm on to you. I, I, I can see all the clips that you make. When I sneeze and you clip it, I can see those, and I see your name next to them. You know that, right? You know that. One moment. Because Thor eats WD-40, you'll never prove it. You got no proof. You got no proof. Next. Cyvix the creep with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, would it be possible to make all profit made from sales of a game go directly towards a specific charity? Hmm, I don't think directly through Steam. You'd probably have to... You'd probably have to route that yourself. Because they'd pay you, and then you would take that, and you'd you'd pay the charity with it. Because you want to make the charitable donation, because it still counts as your, like, money, right? So I don't think Steam does that directly. I don't think there's any process on Steam that does that directly. Yeah. So you just do it yourself. You just do it yourself is kind of how I feel that would work. Likely. Because I, I don't... Maybe if Steam added something like that, that'd be kind of cool? Yeah, I, I think it'd be, it, it'd be really cool if Steam added something like that. Maybe like a percentage of income could go to charity. That'd be really neat, but I, it's more overhead for Steam, so I don't know if they'd do it. I'm not sure if they would. Humble Bundle does that automatically, which I like. I love Humble Bundle for that reason. We actually raised... So, this is something kind of crazy, too. You can see on Humble Bundle, if you're a Humble Bundle partner, how much money has been raised for charity through the links that you've provided. So, like, you know those links that I always put out in the in the sponsored channel? Those sponsored links where you guys are like buying stuff and it, it gives me a kickback on it, that actually goes to charity as well. So you guys have raised, what is it? Let's see how much. This month alone, in the last month, it's $1,616.01 for charity, which is, Humble Bundle is amazing because of this. They just do this. And I, I think it's freaking rad, dude. Like if you don't know about Humble Bundle's charity stuff, yeah, they're awesome. They're really, really, really cool. So like, I, I think that's rad. I think that's an awesome thing that they do. I think it's I think it's just cool, frankly. So yeah, it's good stuff. Really good stuff. How much does it raise in the last year? Oh god, it's taking fifty years to load. Yeah, you guys have raised five thousand six hundred and thirty eight dollars and fifty two cents for charity in the last year. Rad. Awesome as shit. Yeah. Humble bundle's great, dude. Humble bundle is super great. Oh, did you guys hit the bit goal? Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to wait on the bit goal. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait on the bit goal. I'm going to wait on the bit goal. I know. I know. Don't worry. We'll get... We will do it. The reason why is this. And I was talking about this earlier at the beginning of the stream. We finally found a house. We finally found a house. Finally found a house. It's finally happened. So, I'm going to wait on paying money for subs right now until that is over. Until it's over. We're going to... We, I offered on the house. They accepted the offer. And it has enough space for us to build the ferret rescue on it. So if this works, if this works, then it works. And yes, I will I will pay out the bit goal once all of this is resolved. We'll just hold on to it. Just hold on to all of it. Everything. Just waiting for it. That is a hundred point two percent fair, yes. Yeah, because I don't want to I don't want to screw up the finances before all that goes through. I don't want to I don't want to screw any of it up. We're just gonna leave it alone. You're not gonna put it to the dead. No. I want that to go to subs back to you guys. Always. Oh yeah, no, this is true. When your owner doesn't want you to bite them, but they're not wearing shoes. It's true. I'm actually copying this. And I'm gonna send that to Shay.
Oh wait, wrong button. Next. Disposed Ash with 500 bits said Yarchir 500 I've had a question weighing on my mind for a while and I feel like you might be able to help me with your wisdom on this hard question. Okay. The animated lactate cow mascot would you smash or pass lol? Animated lactate cow mascot. Let's go see. Pass. Yo, Gert with love with six pounds and sixty-six pence said happy birthday, Thor. It's not my birthday. It's not my birthday. It's not my birthday. How dare you? How dare you? Not my birthday. You should explain. I like steak. That's all. That's the whole. That's it. That's the whole take. I like steak. That's the only reason. That's the reason right now. Smash burger. I could. I could say smash burger. Yeah. I did say pass. I did. I did. I did. Nobody said you had to stop eating steak. Yeah, but the Here, here's something I always want to know: what happens? What happens in Zootopia, right? Where do they get the meat? How is that resolved? Because there's a whole lot of obligate carnivores in that shit. Where do they get it? From other animals? Yeah, but how? Criminals? They just eat the criminals. There can't be that many criminals. Hunger Games? They grow it in biolabs? Do they actually grow it in biolabs? I don't remember. I've, it's been a long time since I watched Zootopia. Big Gold's going to be later. We're going to do Big Gold after the house resolves. They grow humans to eat? Hmm. Black market? Hmm. It's bugs? Do you think bugs are like... Do you think bugs have a status symbol of any kind inside of Zootopia? Because I know there's like a miniatures world like where it's like all mice and stuff, but like what about what about like mantids? You know? Fish? Yeah, what about fish? What about fish? They never eat meat? I actually really like Beastar's way of handling it, where it's like a black market for meat. They're like, hey, do you want a steak, kid? He's got like a steak, you know, inside of his jacket. Beastars handled that. They did. Yeah. It's Zootropolis. Zootropolis. No birds are seen in the movie. Are there no birds in Zootopia? Is that not a thing? Birds in Zootopia. Actually, wait a minute. I just had another picture of the lactate cow. Did this thing have like a bunch of reimaginings because this one kind of looks like way different yeah no it's way different these are way different from each other look at that they're way different from each other so you're telling me chat you, you're saying this one's a pass for you but this one's a smash for you that's what you're trying to tell me right now I feel like this is the truthful photo, and this is Instagram. And you've been fooled. Yeah. You've been fooled. You've been Instagrammed. That's what just happened there. Radthor Dax with 500 bits said since you were Maldavius in Eve, you should be Dave Malleus in Ashes. In other news, I fainted yesterday. I downloaded uh. the Heartbound demo. Then I saw the size of the charge to my bank. <laughs> no I charge. panicked. 
That was all the money I was saving to put a deposit on a house. No. Last thing I remember I was running for the door. I had to find a passage back to the place I was before. Get hotel, esteemed Gobleet King. <laughs> the lore is so deep now that anyone who is new is gonna have no idea what you just said. None of them are gonna- that, that whole thing was just so insider baseball. The new people are like, what the hell did that dude just say? And everyone else is like, that's amazing. You're amazing. Uh, you're amazing. Ridiculous. Yeah, that, that is so insider baseball, it's ridiculous, dude. Insane. Dearly Genuinely lost, that's fine. 500 bits said recovered my old Twitch account specifically to watch you. Oh, well, what's While up? While I'm here, what game engine would you recommend for a Harvest Moon or Stardew Valley type game? So, first thing I would say is go to develop.games, go to tools, engines. There is no best engine. So I can give you an example of a bunch of engines, but it's going to come down to the features of your game, right? So first thing you need to do, determine what kind of game you want to make. Seems like you have a good idea. So build a game design document. You can do that under picking a genre over on develop.games. There's a link to one. From there, we determine what engine you want to use. We determine the engine based on a couple of different factors. So what features does it support? You have certain features in your game. You need your engine to support those. The cost of the engine. Some of them take royalty fees, some of them take money up front, some of them are free and open source. Like, though, oh, hey, it's good shit. And then from there, you have to determine the workflow for this. Is it easy to work in that engine for you? Is it difficult? Right? Depends on what it is. From there, your language that you're going to make your game in is going to be informed by the engine, because certain engines only allow certain languages. For instance, RenPy, Everything's in Python, but it's great because it allows you to make visual novels with relative ease. If you're trying to make a visual novel, that's a great engine for it. So it comes down to all these things. Use this guide. Use the website. Website's free. No ads. No bullshit. No paywall. It's just got me at the top. Look, there I am. With the community that wants to sleep with the, you know, lactate cow. You know, that's fine. I guess. We have that. Willy Fister Butts with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, since you own Disco Elysium, what are your thoughts on the game and did you enjoy it? I enjoyed the hell out of Disco Elysium. The community did not. <laughs> so, I really like exploring games. I'm really into finding out as much information as possible about a game. So I played Disco Elysium. And I was like, oh, Disco Elysium is going to be awesome, dude. This is so cool. The, the like mind-bending puzzle kind of aspect to it where they're like oh how do you go through this social situation how are you going to handle this and it kind of sticks with you and there's like intrusive thought system that's just freaking awesome dude it's really good so then i met a dude named measurehead in the beginning of the game measurehead is an advanced racist he's like the most racist human being that could possibly exist and i was like well why are you so racist let's find out what racism in this game means why are you a racist man is it based in reality or are you just insane Right. And like, it, it, was it like an, a, a thing that someone attacked him that was of a certain race or did they burn his house down? Or is it like, you know, what is it? What is it? And it just turned out that oh, he's just he's just super racist. That's like his, his whole character is the biggest racist that could possibly exist. And he did it all based on biology to try and say the biology is bullshit. Right. So like I listen to this dude and I'm like, no, you're dumb. This is you're dumb. This is dumb. However, once I talk to him. My character had intrusive thoughts for the rest of the game, where every time I talked to anyone, they were like, hey, I'm your in internal monologue right now, and do you want to be a little racist right now? Because you could be racist, if you'd like, you know, if you'd like to do that. I was like, no! And I was like, okay, all right, all right. I go to talk to someone else, it's like, did you know there's an option to be racist right now? Did you know that? Did you know that there's a thing you could do? And I was every time I had to say no to this, and chat was pissed at me for even talking to Measurehead, and it like tanked the viewership. Everyone was mad, and I was like, "Dude, I'm not, I don't agree with Measurehead. I just want to know why he's racist. I wanted to know more about the character and his weird bullshit." And like, it just it just destroyed the run. <laughs> and I even chose not to absorb it because you have an option to absorb the knowledge. And I was like, "No, I don't want to be a big racist." It was like, "Okay, I'll get you eventually." I'll get you eventually. And it just like faded out into the background, you know? Would you join to measure head in Disco Elysium being an advanced racist? Andrew Van Dulst with Ridiculous five Australian character. dollars said seeing how Godzilla Minus One took the world by storm is awesome. Recently saw an article on how the director met his idol, Spielberg, who watched one three times. That's awesome. I need to I need to watch Godzilla, the new Godzilla. 
I have to watch it. I haven't seen it. And wait, the ferret stream is dead? What are you talking about? No, it's not. What the hell are you talking about? It's right here. They said to me? So you... You didn't just open the... The webpage to look? You just... You mean the ferrets at the bottom of the stream? Those are also not dead. You could... They can fix themselves. They blow up once in a while. Because chat does ferrotoclips. What? 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 <laughs> My body is ready. Next. S. Windle fed with 500 bits said Sir I like games that don't treat magic, spells is just another weapon to choose, games like Magika 1 half, Divinity Original Sin 1 half, because I like the act of discovery through interaction, however it feels like there aren't enough games that go through the effort to make those systems and I could try to make the games myself, but the act of discovery through creation just doesn't hit the same, so my choices are either cope, get rich and pay someone else to do it, hope, continued in next. You know, to be honest with you, I like games that don't treat magic and spells as just any other weapon to choose. Magic at 1 to 2, that's good. Divinity Original Sin, you probably like Noita as well. Noita is fantastic for that. To be real with you, maybe stop playing video games then. Maybe go play D&D. &D. Maybe run a D&D &D campaign with magic in it in the way that you want it to be. That would be fine. You can absolutely do that. So like, do it. It doesn't need to be like this. You know, it doesn't need to be the video games that make you sad about the magic systems. You can make it any way you want to, and you don't have to be a programmer to do it. Just go play D&D. In my D&D games, I like material components. I make them use their material components. And I allow them to have certain types of bonuses applied to different material components that I don't tell the players. Unless they have the knowledge to figure them out. I like doing that. It makes it fun means that there's something for a wizard to do beyond just casting a spell out of a spellbook. You game master? He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a bit of a game master. Maybe just... Maybe just a little bit, you know? Maybe I just... I play I play a bit of D&D. &D, a bit. You know, just... Just a small amount. It's cool. Don't don't worry about it. Don't... It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, there's a little bit of a nerdery in here. Just, just a tad, you know? I gotta put my other dice in here, actually. No! I lost a dice. Oh, God, it's falling down. I have to use this key to get this dice. It fell down between the books. Wish me luck. Well, mission failed successfully. I got it out of there, but now it's down with the with the jars. Fine. Weirdest sex toys you've ever seen? I mean, if that's what you're into, right? I ain't gonna judge. It's 2024. But no, I've been a DM for a super long time, and I generally feel that if you want to be a game developer, you should play tabletop RPGs. If you want to be a game dev, playing D&D is a great way to flex those skills because you are, you have an audience that is interested in the thing that you're doing, you have an audience that's trying stuff, and you get to see immediate feedback on your designs. And I think that's incredibly important, way more important than you think. It's a big, big deal for understanding player behavior and becoming a better game developer, straight up. Ugh. Also, that thing's heavy as shit. Ugh. S. Windle fed with 500 bits said hope or find a game dev to annoy until they make the games with the magic systems I like. So, do you feel like making a magic game? Not gonna make a magic game, but you should play D&D. 100%. 100%. K. 
Kalakadian with 500 bits said hello Thor, hope you are having a good stream. What do you think of the game Rain World? I think it's brilliant. I think the way that it does environments is just insane. It's incredible actually. I'm talking to Onigiri, we're getting ready. We're getting ready, chat. Fluffy with 500 bits said, Yar cheer 500, I'm currently stuck in unemployment heck, and have been struggling mm. to do anything creative. I don't know what to do with this. Do you have any suggestions? Getting stuck in unemployment hell is, that's awful, frankly. And I understand. Um, the best thing you can do is just refine your resume and cover letter and try to work on things that you think would be interesting on the side. And like, if you're having problems with doing creative works, then maybe just teach yourself a skill. You know, maybe teach yourself a skill each day. You've got all the time in the world right now while you're waiting for those applications to go through. So start applying to a lot of different places, huge amount of places. And to be real with you, if it goes on long enough, don't worry about getting a shitty job. Many people will look down at it and like, no, no, I need a, only a good job, only a good job. There comes a point where it doesn't matter which job you have as long as you have a paying job. Like there is a, there is a point in which that happens. And I... I find that many people won't do that. They won't take the shitty job. And it doesn't make any sense. Don't go homeless, right? Like, I've been there. You don't want to do that. Like, take the shitty job. Hubris will impact you if you don't do this. Yeah, some money is better than no money. Agreed. And some money means that you can do that for a while, right? You can do it for a while. There's nothing wrong with that. You've been there? Yeah, I slipped out of my car for a year, dude. <laughs> it was not a good time. It was not a good time. I lived out of my car in Colorado with a cat. Her name was Gadget. Wonderful animal. Yeah, so like, it's important to understand that any job is good, but during that time, just try to teach yourself a skill. It doesn't even need to be you doing something creative. Just teach yourself something. Whatever it is. Yeah. Did you take drugs in the car? No, I don't do drugs. Never have. Never have. Because when I was a kid, my dad... My dad did something, and I don't think he realized how effective it was. He, um, When I was in like high school, he made drugs not cool instantly. Because he said to me, he said, hey, if you want to do drugs, just tell me. I'll get them for you, and you can do them here at the house. So you're safe. And I was like, drugs are lame. You're lame. And I just never did them. <laughs> that was it. That's all it was. And it was, it's very clear. That as I grew up, I was like, that reverse psychology worked really well, man. Like, because I was a rebellious little shit, and it worked. It 100% worked. And, um, yeah, I just never did them. I never got into it, because, and I'm, I'm glad I never did. To be honest with you, shit ruins lives, man. So, like, that's what he did, and it worked out really, really well. My mom did the same thing. Yeah. My parents did that with alcohol and weed, too. Yeah. And it's just, yeah, it's 4D chess. 4D chess on that part. It's a very smart move, but... I never, never got into it, so I just don't do it. And I don't do it now. I don't even, I don't drink coffee. I don't have energy drinks. I, I drink water, orange juice, and, and, you know, Ovaltine. And, like, that's pretty much it. Do you ever smoke? Nope. Never smoked. My mom smoked when I was a kid. I hated that shit. I hate the smell of cigarettes. I can't be around cigarettes at all. I hate them. Absolutely hate them. That It's just a gross smell, dude. And it sticks to everything. You don't realize, if, if you're a smoker, you don't realize how much that shit sticks to everything. It sticks to everything. Everything. It is horrific, dude. Cigars? No. No smoking at all. I know, I know, like, people are like, ah, oh, cigar, it's a man's cigarette. Whatever. No, dude, that shit sucks. Why no coffee? I just don't need it. I don't give myself stimulants of any kind. There's no reason to. If I can function through my day without having those things, why would I add them, you know? Yeah, that's, that's gross. I, I, when I have alcohol, I do it like once a year. I actually collect alcohol more than I drink it. I just think it's neat to have. Like I have a whole bunch of rums, like pirate rums and stuff. I was like, yeah, hey, look at all those pirate rums. I don't even drink them. <laughs> it's like super rare that I do. I used to a long time ago. I used to drink more, but it's it's never to get drunk because like I have a really high tolerance because my dad had a high, it's like some genetic shit. So what I ended up being, because it's such a high tolerance, is I'm always the designated driver. And what a designated driver does you don't drink a little. You drink nothing. Ever. At all. Do not drink even a little when you're the designated driver. So I don't. So I go to the bar with all my friends, and I would drink uh, cranberry juice, and that was it. I just get cranberry juice, and I love cranberry juice. Love the shit out of it. Yeah. Not even a, not even one drop. Not even a little bit. 
not a half a beer, none of that shit, nothing. I'm also allergic to hops, so it makes it a little bit more tough, right? Because, so it's the combination of like, I'm an expensive drunk because I'm allergic to hops and I'm an expensive drunk because I have high tolerance from genetics. So it's like, okay, I'm just the designated driver. That's just how that works. And that's fine. It makes it easy, right? And I just drink cranberry juice and I like cranberry juice, so that's fine, you know? Tip the bartender, he gives you cranberry juice all night. It's great. Yeah. Do not drink and drive, not even once? No, don't. And buzz driving is drunk driving. Don't be a dipshit. You're you're endangering yourself and everybody else on the road. And that's a mistake you can't take back, man. So don't screw it up. Andrew Van Dulst with 10 Australian dollars said I worry for the upcoming Mass Effect game. Hmm. If we're playing Shepard again, I hope it's not after a long time skip. Oh. I will not be denied my happy ending building a home with best girl Tally, best bro Garrus. Yeah... Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Bean Dream with $1.99 said a ferret's cuddly. Sometimes. When they're sleepy, they can get really cuddly. Really cuddly. But when they're awake, they're like flying blenders. Yeah, that's probably the... No, flying blenders that you put a piece of shit into. Because they're spinning and slashing and biting and shitting all at the same time. And that's basically what they do. That's that's pretty much it. Constantly. Just everywhere. It's it's a mess. It's a horrifying mess. But when they sleep, oh god, they're so cute when they sleep. They're so cute when they sleep. But otherwise, blender full of shit. Yeah. Golden underscore X009 with 502 bits said Yarchir 100 Log Horizon Musical Notes Database Database Yarchir 100 Yarchir 100 Yarchir 100 Yarchir 100 Yarchir 1 Yarchir 1. Thank you very much. Andrew Van Dulst with five Australian dollars said also, if Destroy is the ending they're canonizing, here's hoping they retcon the silly Edie and the Geth die alongside the Reapers bit. That'd be great. Dude, I'm I'm really waiting to see what the new Mass Effect is going to be like. I'm really waiting for that. Because, like, the last Mass Effect 3 had just, like... Dude, the, the story just made me sad. I don't like the bait and switch of player mechanics mattering, and then they don't matter. That really, really sucked. I, I'm in it for the, your choices matter, frankly. Like, I'm really into that. Never really played a Mass Effect. I mean, they're good games, they're fun, but like, your choices mattering is a big part of that. Yeah, Mass Effect 3 was awesome until the, the end made no sense. It was like, why? I want my, cho my choices are gone, you know? That sucks. Why not filter out the emote names for the TTS? A lot of them are. So cheer modes are actually filtered out. I don't really want to get rid of the other ones. Like yard cheer ones should be filtered out, but they're not. And that's technically like a bug that I need to raise because channel specific cheer modes are not removed, which sucks. But it's also kind of fun to just be like, while they're going on, you know, like that's fine. I don't give a shit. Next. Keo Nexus with 500 bits said, hey, Thor. Do you have any advice for someone who can't seem to do things for themselves, but rather choose to do things for others, even though they know it's unhealthy? Well, if it gets to the state of unhealthy, you should probably talk to somebody. Talk to a professional about that. If it's not to the state of unhealthy, you just like being a giver. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. As long as you are taking care of yourself, it's okay. You know who some of the best people are that are in those roles? Support roles? Producers. Project managers. Nurses. There's all kinds of support roles that exist in our society for specifically that kind of behavior, as long as you take care of yourself. And you know what we find more often than not? Nurses generally take care of their patients better than they take care of themselves. You know that. I know that. You gotta take care of yourself if you work in medical. Yeah. Yeah. This is true, because it's exactly that same behavior. Which is why you have a team. And the team of people can tell you when you're screwing it up. Nurse for a nurse, dude. Happens all the time. One moment. The snack. Yeah, mental health workers too, I agree. I'm glad at the new AH meta during a uh, ad break. Did the big old break? No, 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 no. I'm waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting for later. We're waiting on Bezos, and then we're waiting for this. I'm gonna continue that. Yeah, good. Ah, uh, 
I'm glad to see that Ubisoft is given so many new types of labels for upcoming games, and you guys are all posting them in chat. That's fantastic. They went to quadruple A, but look, you've gone beyond them. That's right. Ah! ads. I think the ads are dead. I'm posting a good meme. One moment. There you go, chat. This is for you. This is for you. Enjoy that. This is for you, chat. Why have a quadruple A game when we could have... Ah! That's it. That's the that's the whole tweet. That's my shit post of the day. You know? That's the shit post for today. 100%. And I'm fine with this. Alright, so, back to this. Um, so, QNXs, this is pretty common among people that are in support roles. It's really, really common. More often than not, people in support roles actually will take care of others better than they take care of themselves. Nurses do this. Veterinarians do this. Um, hell, producers, project managers. There's so many times where these people are overworked. Support roles in our society are overworked, and they would rather take care of somebody else before themselves. You have to be able to stop and take care of yourself before you take care of somebody else to do it effectively. Yeah, teachers, same thing. Exactly the same thing. So with this in mind, in those types of roles, it's incredibly important that if you are in one of those roles, you need to look at your coworker and say, hey, is that person taking care of themselves? I need to remind them. Support roles do really well when they're interacting with other people in their same support role and keeping out, like keeping a lookout for each other. It's a very normal thing in a support role to forget about the self. So take care of those around you, inside of those. Yeah. Yep. Super normal thing. Really, really normal thing. So yeah, keep that in mind. And if you, if you're somebody who's, you know, can't seem to do things for themselves, but rather chooses to do things for others, you need a support role for your support role, my dude. Pretty normal thing. Really normal thing. And introspect and take a take a hard look at yourself. If you don't have somebody else there to look at you, you know, to be like, hey, you're you need to take care of yourself a little bit better, then sit down and think about it. Each time you're doing one of those things. Look at what you're doing and be like, have I handled myself yet? Have I taken care of myself first? Because that you have to. You have to. Yeah, no, teachers don't get paid nearly enough. I agree with that. Super agree with that. Anyway, this is yours now. Enjoy. Billington's TV with 500 bits said, Hi Thor, I found your content super recently through shorts. Nice. Probably around a month ago, but I just wanted to say how much I admire you and work and say thank you for it. Aww. You have helped motivate me to start with learning to hack and him loving it. Yeah. You playing Grey Hack helped too, Teehee, but thank you, Mr. Goblin Lord, much love, heart. Dude, I love Grey Hack. That game is fun as hell. It's really, really good. Andrew Van Dulst with five Australian dollars said, Dragons have flying by default, but yes. You can give anyone a jetpack, tanks, centurions, witches, monks, demons, nanomachine zombies, drop bears, etc. Hmm. Hmm. When you say drop bear, I think of Australian children, though. And Australian children are devastating emotionally. Like, they will rip you apart and emasculate you. Until you die, probably, I think. It's it's like a normal Australian, but with absolutely no filter of any kind. Or social awareness at the pure psychological damage they're dealing. So if you add a jetpack to that, and it can fly... That's horrifying. Yeah, it's really scary, actually. Yeah. That's all children? Yeah, but Australian children are better at it. They're way better at it. To be honest with you. I think normal... Like, I'm going to be real with you. 
I, I grew up in America. Half of us, half of American children, we could roll faster than we can walk because we're just full of McDonald's. All right. And you could say that's not true, but it is true. I've been here my whole life. I know. I used to be fat too. I know. I know how that works. Australia, monsters. Actual like those children are vicious, dude. Yeah, vicious mockery is like a like a talent that you just gain by being born in Australia. It's like a buff. You get you get a, a spawn point based buff in Australia and it's vicious mockery. That's what it is. It's a hundred percent what it is. Terrifying, dude. Yeah, it's your you guys get it as like an extra. It's your cantrip, exactly. Is it like bullying? It's like advanced bullying. Like what we think of as bullying, we're like, oh, your mom smells like that. That no, no, no. They get, they get something else, dude. They get something else. They just rip you apart. I don't even. I can't even do it because I'm American. I don't even understand the context, frankly. Yeah, Australians have way. It's banter until it's not, dude. It's really vicious banter. It's great. Plus five. Yeah, you guys probably get a plus five proficiency. I think that's what it is. It's a racial bonus, you know. Yeah. You get a racial bonus. You get a spawn point bonus. That's what it is. As an Aussie can confirm. That's why I love Australian humor. It's just so biting all the time. Superior slang. I agree with that. I agree with that. You do. You have good slang. Yeah. You banter until someone concedes. True. I actually, I love on excessive profanity stream when someone gets banned. One of the most common things that someone gets unbanned for is they say, it was just a bit of banter. <laughs> <laughs> Which is pretty good. Uh, they're like, oh, okay, it's just a bit of banter. That's fine. That's fine. You're unbanned. You know, like, it's just like a super common phrase that gets them unbanned. It's just like, all right. <laughs> you were executed last week. You probably deserved it. I executed you in Power World, and then I threw you away. We didn't even use the meat, Zoltra Lord. Australian here, very true. Yeah. Just a, just a bit of banter. Just a bit of banter, you know? Just a little bit. A little bit of banter, you know? I got executed on that stream too. Getting executed in an excessive profanity stream is wild. There's nothing there's nothing that's gonna take this away from me though. They were going to execute me twice, and both of them failed in the same stream. And that is that is wild, dude. I thought I was gonna die for sure. I thought they were gonna execute me for sure. It was so, so close. It was so close. They were trying to like 50-50 it and shit. I was like, oh. <laughs> we're doing a cooking stream today? Yeah, in seven minutes. Another. Asriel326 with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, been binging your long plays. I know you like the art style for Potion Craft. Have you played Pentiment? You would love it. Keep doing you. You're such an inspiration less than three. I haven't played Pentiment, but it's been shown to me a bunch of times. It's awesome. What are we cooking? In a moment here, we're going to raid Onigiri. In two minutes. And then I have to join this thing, and I have to set all this stuff up. Onigiri is going to cook my bread. My cheese bread. That's right. And we've been setting this up for a while. Yes, today. It's in, it's in seven minutes. Well, technically two minutes. We're going to raid over. So that's going to be fun. It's going to be super fun. And uh, we'll see if she can do it. She apparently had a very great deal of difficulty finding uh, Swiss cheese. So I hope that Swiss will work. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna see. Andrew Van Dulst with 10 Australian dollars said gnoming feels like a YTP thing. Like, to me, heaven has to be a cross between a Dick K video and chicken Dude. and winnegish. See, it's like, I could have a leg in one hand and a BRERB -E in the other. <laughs> this is some old internet right there, dude. No, YouTube poop's hilarious. Honestly, it'd be more like a. Probably like a Y team and D thing. Probably set up his Y team indeed, just a big layer of it with like super blasting loud gnome music. I could see that. You know? Yeah. It'd be good. It'd be good. Merjustia with 35 South African Rand said, Mr. Software, you would mm. not believe your eyes if 10 million fireflies wake you up in the middle of the night just to hear them say, Welcome to Hotel Cal. Shit. You guys figured out a, a bug in me. And I can't patch that one. It's music related, where every time you use any phrase from any song, I hear it. The video plays it. The audio plays all of it. Buh. Buh. Owl City Hotel California is rough, dude. That is rough. 
You know what's more rough? We're ending the stream. We're gonna go raid Onigiri. It's time. It's time. It's time. Are you ready? You ready? You guys ready? It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Let me sew this stuff up. One second. Ah! Ah! Here, look at... Look at this while I set it up. Ah! There you go. Enjoy that for a moment. Onigiri. Twitch. Twibj. I need the Twibj phase. Oh god, it's loud. Why is it on mobile, Twitch? G Stop it, Twitch. I'm on a browser. I'm on a web browser. Okay, good. We're not blind anymore. In our ears. We're not ear blind. Alright, chat. Here we go. We're gonna go make some food. It's gonna be fun. The raid has begun. Also, YouTube. YouTube signed. Here you go. There's a link for you. There's a link for you. There you go. There you go. There you go. A link. A link. I'll be over there in just a moment. And we're going to teach her how to make my cheese bread. And hopefully, hopefully, she can do it. Or, or, she'll mess it up and it'll be really funny. It's going to be great. It's Either way, it's going to be hilarious. So I'll click the thing. YouTube say YouTube. You can do it on either one. Yeah, there's there's a link for Twitch. There's a link for YouTube side. Either way, you guys want it. That's totally fine. Doot, 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 doot. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. It's populating the raid. It's populating the raid. Going. Going. It's going up. Where do I click? Refresh if you don't see it. I have high hopes. I'm actually excited for this. I've never taught anybody how to cook my stuff before. And Onigiri is a, a food tuber. A food YouTuber. Food VTuber. There's many tubes going on. She called me a flesh tuber the other day, too, which made me laugh. I felt like a normie. Yeah. Felt like a normie. She called me a flesh tuber. And I was like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was like, well, oh, well, all right then. Goodbye!